set it up in the sink. Imagine how loud that drone would be in the kitchen. <laughs> 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 it's not like a beehive in there. Yeah, it's hot. I get asked all the time by people, if I'm in an accident, what should I do? And while yes, you should call the police, exchange insurance information, and take pictures of the scene, all those things are important. But the most important thing you need to do is hire a personal injury lawyer. This is Doug Biggs from Longo Biggs Injury Law. And if you've been hurt by someone else's negligence, don't take on the insurance company yourself. Insurance companies have teams of people and a playbook designed to keep you running in circles so they can pay you as little money as possible for your accident claim. If you don't have a lawyer, they know you can't bring your claim to court and they will never give you full value. We recently took an offer from an insurance company without a lawyer on the case from $12,000 to $200,000. You can't get that kind of result without an attorney on your case. Even if you don't hire us, you need to hire a personal injury attorney. Check us out online at longobigs.com. TMA listeners have a lot to think through financially. Saving for retirement and college while also paying bills and enjoying life along the way. Call Mark Hanna. Mark works with you to design a strategy to do your finances right. It's a straightforward approach that starts with a 15-minute phone call to discuss your needs. Visit evergreenstl.com or give Mark a call at 314-889-0503 today. Mark Hanna offers securities through Equitable Advisors, LLC, member FINRA, SIPC, a broker-dealer. Equitable Advisors, LLC, an SEC registered investment advisor. Evergreen Wealth Strategies is not a registered investment advisor and is not owned or operated by Equitable Advisors or Equitable Network. John, I'm so tired of this kitchen. We haven't updated anything since we moved in. The stove looks like it's from the 90s, and the rest is here. Are you even listening to me? Did you say something, honey? Yeah, yeah, no, kitchen's fine. We have cabinets. There's food in the cabinets. We're good. Guys, if this sounds a little familiar, trust me, your wife is probably right. It's time for a remodel. Collier & Thompson is the company to trust. Not just for kitchens and bathrooms, but for any interior remodeling job. Need a new man cave? Collier & Thompson. Office? Collier & Thompson. Bar? You got it. Collier & Thompson. They even do wine rooms and fireplace walls. Collier & Thompson is your go-to source for every design consideration. They carry the best cabinets, appliances, and countertops in the business. And better yet, it's all under one roof. No need to drive around to five to ten different businesses for one job. At Collier & Thompson, they do it all. Their showroom is on Manchester Road in Baldwin, right next to Uncle Bill's Pancake House. Let Collier & Thompson bring your dream remodel to reality and come home to quality. Online at CollierAndThompson.com. It's the heart of March and everything's green The bar's as busy as you've ever seen Everyone's Irish and you are too When you tell them more, tell them more, tell them more, do When the dry cleaner's lost your only green shirt And getting pinched by your friends is starting to hurt At this point there's nothing else you can do Except tell them more, tell them more, tell them more, do It's St. Patrick's Day, so what do you do? You tell them more, tell them more, tell them more, do Hey! Tell them more, Jew Irish whiskey imported by William Grant & Sons, Inc. Biggie's Restaurant and Bar has been a staple of the community for over 30 years and is serving your favorites like the steak sandwich, waffle fries, and so much more. It's not just the food that's rocking. With a full bar and patio, Biggie's is the perfect spot for lunch, dinner, and a little after. Biggie's Original Hours are back. Open 11 a.m. till midnight, Wednesday, Thursday, and Sunday. And 11 a.m. till 1 a.m. on Friday and Saturday. Check out the full menu at Biggie'sRestaurant.com and stop in today. College basketball's biggest tournament is coming, and it's time to start betting like a pro with the world's largest sports book right at your fingertips. Circa Sports Illinois. It's sports betting the way it should be. Experience big app bets with high betting limits, tight money line splits, and more. Fund and bet like a pro anywhere, anytime. It's never been easier. Download your new bookie before all the March action at CircaSports.com. If you or someone you know have a problem with gambling, call 1-800-GAMBLER or text ILGAMB to 833-234. This is the one. Honey, I think you're right. This house has everything we've ever dreamed of. A huge master bedroom, an open kitchen, and a backyard with a fire pit and built-in grill. I'm in love. I can't believe it. Finally, our dream home. It's absolutely perfect for us. We owe our realtor big time. No, you don't. We're just doing our job. At the Jeff Lottman Group, helping you find your dream home is our top priority, bringing people and properties together. To get started, call us at 314-406-8911 or visit us online at jefflottman.com. Live from the Michelob Ultra Studios, KPN-TFM HD2, Collinsville, St. Louis. This is TMA All Day.
Rise and shine, St. Louis. It's the Brown and Crouppen Morning After on KPN-TFM HD2, Collinsville, St. Louis. At the Morning After STL on YouTube and on TMASTL.com with Tim McKernan, Doug Vaughn, Iggy Strode, The Plowboy, and Action Jack. 707 in St. Louis, you are listening to TMA, presented to you by Brown and Crouppen. Welcome, friends, to the Munganass St. Louis Acura, Munganass Burkhardt, Alton Toyota, Seven o'clock hour, Timothy Michael McKernan, Douglas Elvin Vaughn, Kenneth Iggy Stroh, the Plowhawk, and Action Jackson with you here on a program that welcomes you to call into the Callier and Thompson phone lines. 636-9004-TMA. Text in to the Jeff Lotman Compass Realty text inbox. 314-881-TMA5. An email in for our design air heating and cooling email of the day. Watch the program and participate in the YouTube chat at youtube.com slash TMASTL. And boy, Doug, you're right. Carl Pelker and Jake Reynolds are already there. What are they doing in there? Uh, in Carl the Pelker says, RIP St. Louis Blues. Better luck next year. It's Carl well, Pelker. That was a tough one. It's going to be hard to bounce back from that. They got 80 points with 10 games to play. So they could obviously finish with 100. That's right. And it would take probably 93, 94, 95 to get in. So they're going to need to win almost all the rest of the games. That's right. Almost all of them. To have any kind of shot. That really hurt. And they had some chances really late in the third period. They had some really good scoring chances. If one of those goes in the net, they're two points down. Now they're five. Instead, they're five down. It made a difference of three points there. It was, uh, and Vegas has a game in hand. Uh, so let's just say, Doug, they have 11 games left. Vegas does. Let's say they win five. Is, are you fine yeah. with that? They go five okay, and six? Okay, yeah. So then they would finish with 95 points. Mm -hmm. At that point, the Blues have to get 16 points. Yeah. That's going 8-2. and two. And that's with Vegas going 5-6. and six. Mm -hmm. It gives you an idea of how difficult right. it's going to be and how critical that was last night. And Vegas will probably do better than 5-6, and six, <clears throat> being in a playoff push themselves. I, I wouldn't count on them losing six more games. So you're 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 saying we can't get I'm, hot and we can't win this baby? <laughs> I'm saying we have to win them all to still get in this baby. Just about all of them. Yeah, you know, that I'm not sure they'll recover from that last night. Had their chances. Had their chances. And at the same time, Vegas had chances as well and mm -hmm. Bennington was outstanding once again. Mm -hmm. Uh one of the focal points is the way that Drew Bannister uh Started things with an 11 and 7, 11 forward, mm -hmm. 7 defenseman. And why do that when the team had been playing so well? So that is certainly a focal point for those who are locked in on it. Uh, Jeremy Rutherford yesterday on Balloon Party said it looks like Sammy Blay is going to play, but then he texted me after we were off the air and he goes, I'm sorry, that actually isn't the case. They're going with an 11 7. And, uh, and Bullduke was going to be pulled and Scandella was back in there. Yeah. And so that is what they did. But at the same time, Perunovic and Scandella combined for a total of 12 minutes. So it's not like they really spread out the ice time amongst the defensemen. And you still had three forwards carrying a large percentage of it. In addition to, you lost Shen for seven minutes in penalty time. Mm -hmm. You had Saad out for a while after the hit uh, by McNabb that led to Shen fighting, and uh, and then you lost Sunquist, and he, you might not see right. him the rest of the year based yeah. on the way he came off the ice. He just crumpled. Yeah. Looked like it was the right McNabb leg. got him, too. Yeah. Well, these are times that try men's souls. Souls? And, and through it all, they still could have they still could have won it if, if Bucci connects on the uh, penalty shot in overtime. That would have made one point different anyway. But, you know, woe is us. Woe is us. So here we sit, looking like we're going to be on the outside looking in. It's really Jackson's like... fault that the Blues lost. How's Jackson involved? That's from the 6 well, He doesn't seem to want to accept any of the responsibility, but clearly a lot of it's on his shoulders. <laughs> Letty's shirts look pretty good, though. Letty's shirts? Yeah, they made shirts for his thousand mm -hmm. game. You know who made those shirts? You. Mike Flanagan. Oh, did he really? Yeah, he got a call that the... Uh, People that were supposed to make him for him dropped the ball, couldn't do it, and uh, Flanagan got him done. Nice going, Flanny. Just a little tidbit. Okay, but it was a nice one. It was a nice tidbit. Uh, uh, Doug, uh, we have a 
a member of the Blues in the YouTube chat. Have we? Giving us some insight. This Ooh. is unbelievable. Uh, one of their goaltenders, Daddy Padre, says... Oh, Club. Playing 11-7 ultimately was a huge issue, whether it was Saad going out for a short time, then Sonny. This is why he's an AHL coach, oh. baffled by Army allowing him to do this, especially since your number one center has been sick all month. Daddy Padre, that's going to cause Gosh. a problem in the room when he walks in there today for the skate getting ready for the Flames on Thursday. He's not in there anymore. He's got open tryouts in a few months. He's a vending machine salesman. He's a little busman. Did he take shots like that when he was a practice goaltender? I bet he didn't. I, I mean, some people, I think, are probably going to respect somebody in the room. He's not in the room anymore. He hasn't been for a year or two. He saved some NHL Blues Hall of Famer shots. Not many. In practice, but still. like, Can you imagine trying to put a glove on Petro's slapper? He didn't get a, a glove on many of them. Well, I we saw him in practice. We're, again, we're not in the room, like Tim said. But I was at like, practice like, a few times. In the room. When he was getting lit up like a Christmas tree. <laughs> I mean, he was stopping. He was out there. You know, Chopper was on the power play, just mm -hmm. blasting away from the mm -hmm. blue line. There's Daddy Padre. Glove save! Kick save no, and a beauty! just not the case. Not the case at all. Was it the game last night, boys? Can I just say one thing? When Cairo is bad, he is bad. I saw this kid not skating and missed terribly on about five passes. I've never seen such a talented player just disappear and reappear as he pleases. That's from Curtis Sanford, but his greasy five hole. So I can't say that that's another former Blues goalie. So well, he really blues was goalie. a Blues goalie, Sanford. He really gives up a lot of goals. Stewie, yeah. yeah Stewie. Okay. You like him? Yeah. Now, do you think he's good enough to be a goalie somewhere? in the NHL instead of sitting up and being an emergency goalie up in the stands? I would not answer this. <laughs> <laughs> I love Tank. That's not like Putin. <laughs> Tarasenko, baby. <laughs> huh. I forgot we had that interview. Daddy Padre yeah. also says, the guys in the room stand with Iggy over Lisa Ann, I've been told, sources say. It's interesting. I've been told, sources say. The guys in the room. So the Blues are talking a lot about this feud. <laughs> I doubt that, that too. That's Do you think Shutter got the boys together? No. This is from a guy in the no, room. No, he's not in the room. I mean, if you look at that losing streak that correlates right when Lisa Ann oh, wow. left the show, I mean. So the Blues were all down about it, you're saying? Shocked. Crestfallen? Uh, I just don't know that Daddy Padre ought to be taking shots at his team. I mean, just think about it. Jimmy Snipes next year. There's a lot of lot to look forward to next year. Oh, I hate to turn the page. God bless America. I understand. I mean, here's the th here's reality. It was great that they tied it up, but uh, with four or five minutes left, had a number of opportunities as you made reference to Doug, and then it looked like Thomas might give him the uh, game winner uh, within a minute or two following uh, the uh, the sod goal, and what a uh, pass by Shen mm -hmm. to make that happen. But once it got to overtime and Las Vegas was getting a point, you already knew you had a problem. That's how, yeah. that's how close this situation is. So even if the Blues were to win, it's similar to the last two wins over Minnesota. Yes, it's great that they got the two points, but Minnesota picked up a point in each one of those, so it wasn't a full-on victory. And Drew Bannister alluded to that uh, after the game. Got a win in overtime. Some talk, Jeremy Rutherford was tweeting about this, that the Blues would pull the goalie with the game tied at one in regulation to try to win it there to keep Vegas from getting a point. What would you have thought there? I wouldn't have been in agreement with that, right. no. Because your, your chances of losing then go up by about 80%. I'd rather have, <clears throat> I guess I'd rather have one point and take the chance of getting another one in overtime than increasing your odds of getting nothing and, and they get two. I was fine with the way they played it. Sounds like you didn't like the way they played it. They just need what I would call a regulation time win. I don't know that you guys know what that means. I don't means. understand. What does it mean? In regulation time, you get the win. You don't have to go to overtime. Mm. It's a term that I've coined, and that's what they needed last night. I'll try to keep it simpler from here on out. Yeah, I don't follow this. It's you know? a little too into the weeds. It's like you know? strokes gained. It's what a regulation it time win. It's when you win in regulation time. Uh, here's Drew Bannister. Maybe he can talk more to the common man as opposed to Doug. Okay. 
Hit the lever, plows. On the loss or playoff atmosphere? No, I just didn't. On the loss. Thank you. (laughs) Yeah, we did in the third. Uh, uh, You know, we did some, you know, some real good things in the third. We're happy with the third period. Um, You know, the first and the second, we had some chances, but uh, you know, we we didn't we didn't play well enough in the first and second. You know, I, I didn't think we were direct enough and. You know, we didn't, weren't able to get to our forecheck, and, and some of that was on us. We we made some, you know, poor puck decisions, um, but you know, the guys dug in in the third and, and and found a way to tie that game up, and, and and certainly we had our opportunities to win that game in regulation, and then we had, you know, the chance in overtime too. Mm-hmm. Well, if he should call and ask what I mean by regulation time <laughs> he might wins, call you? I, I yeah, I will explain it to him. And then maybe he can relay that to the boys. Skate boys. And, and they can understand the importance of winning in regulation time. Probably too late for this season, but it could help next year. Uh, for the record, Doug, you follow Money Puck closely. No. And the playoff odds. And interestingly, the Blues' playoff chances really didn't drop that much. Well, they were pretty low to begin with. Right, I know. But, I mean, I think they were in the fives going into the game, and it's only 4.3 now. Vegas is, for the record, 90.8. The Kings, 98.6, and Nashville, 99.6. So it's going to take us actually the, the Wild, even though they're two mm-hmm. points back of the Blues, have a higher playoff percentage than the Blues. They're at 6.7%. Skate, boy, skate. Well, I don't know what the odds are of us running the table. Six. Probably probably 6%. Yep. That they could win the last 10. 6%. Give or take. Uh, no. Say 1%. Yeah. I was just kidding. Again, you got to look at the positives. You got Cairo for what at least <laughs> five more years. Oh gosh, yeah. Uh, Doug, if you want to throw a bet on the Blues to win uh, the Chalice this year, plus fifteen thousand. So you put a hundred on it, you get fifteen thousand. Well, it feels like that might be wasting a hundred dollars. What? Yeah, I'll take anybody's hundred dollar bet on that. There it is. Would you? Uh, the Blues to win the West, ten plus ten thousand. So fire a bullet uh, if you would like. Well, I was torn between watching that and The Bachelor last night, so I had to watch them both. Yeah. So it was a... Hopefully no will bite on that. Very, and it can just die. <laughs> very dramatic, very dramatic evening of television watching for me. I want the Iron Claw. I didn't even watch the Blues. Couldn't, obviously. <laughs> Good game. No. <laughs> oh, because you couldn't get Bally's? I just gave up. I mean, no. I haven't tried in a while, but... For the first time in 20 years, I think I might have a women's basketball tournament take. Oh, yeah, I watched oh, some of that. Nice. You watched Caitlin Clark? Uh-huh. I feel terrible for what... I couldn't care any less about it, honestly. But when the Blues had their second intermission, I'm like, oh, I want to see what's doing. And mm-hmm. West Virginia tied it, and they were going into the final couple minutes, and holy crap. And, and this is, you know, as you might imagine, zero emotional or financial interest in the outcome of that game, the officials made sure Caitlin Clark continued on in that, in that tournament, <laughs> and I will put a period on it. That was stunning, what went on there. Well, they need her there. They don't want well, her I, there. I, I understand, but it, it was it was egregious. It just makes me lose faith in crap. I guess I should probably, at this point in my life, be more aware of how the world works, but yeah, it was it was kind of gross. And again, I know that I'm probably talking to 1% of the audience who even knows, uh, for the record, Iowa shot uh, 30 free throws and committed 11 fouls. Uh, but West Virginia uh, got a chance to shoot five free throws. So that's uh, six times uh, more for Iowa. Mm-hmm. And they had 27 fouls called on them. So it was uh, it was something else. Well, you're, I, don't, that's just analytics that you're saying. <laughs> <laughs> I, was, I was watching, I'm going, oh yeah, I guess I guess you'd kind of know that this is the way the world works. Mm-hmm. You know, they're not going to let her not be in the Sweet 16. The tournament kind of revolves around her existence. And then I'm watching, I'm going, oh God, this is, you know. And she still complains about everything. She's a big complainer. And even her dad, and the, they had a shot of her dad oh, in the crowd telling her to be quiet. <laughs> Stop it. She's embarrassed her brand immensely the last two oh, weeks. Oh, come on. Well, oh, yeah. Dude. Jackson Jackson decided to get and, it. And I'm not talking she's losing dollars, she's losing draft. Ra- I'm, not, I'm just talking about, 
Like, I was a fan, and I saw that she she has, like, a pity party for absolutely everything. And she pushes off every... I watched a little bit of that game. Mm -hmm. She has a heavy forearm shiver every time she... That's more fair. I, it, it's People pretty... People complain, like, watch any basketball game, guys, complain to the refs every single time. I've never seen somebody yell at her father, anyone yell at a parent like she did. I, I And I'm not talking... I'm talking to both male and female. It was, uh... It was weird. It, it was it was temper tantrum. I mean, guys throw temper tantrums on the court all the time, and I call it all the time. But that was weird to watch because she's dominant. You know what I did kind of twenty. I did kind of like the higher seed getting to play at home. I love that. Where you got a packed building and you get rewarded for being a higher seed, having a much better regular season. Why do you hate trips to Greensboro? Uh, I didn't like Greensboro. Oh, you have been there too? And I, I've been to a lot of NCAA, early round NCAA tournament games where the buildings were mostly empty. When, were, were just a times, scattering of a few thousand Missouri people. When Missouri played in the last 20 years to go to the, uh, I guess 22 years, to go to the Final Four, they were on the West Regional. And it was it was like they were playing an exhibition game in early November with yeah. the crowds. Yeah, I don't like that. Yeah, I think it'd be a, a great home game to have at NCAA tournament games. At a, at a sold out arena for a much higher seed. I think that would even be even be fair too. If you were much better in the regular season to get a home game over a over a team that didn't do much. I don't have a problem with that. I don't have a problem with Munganis. No, about that. I don't I know how you could. Doug, what do you like about Munganis? Uh I like uh, the people there that are so great. We've gotten to know them over the years. Uh, they're all just uh, Jamie Burkhart and Clayton Patterson and, and Cyberg and, and uh, Peter Munganaz. They're all just wonderful people, especially when you go in for service, because everybody needs service, whether you buy your car there or not. Sooner or later, your car is going to need service. And you go into Munganaz, and the place is just spotless clean and very professional people working there. They'll take great care of your car. You can trust them for anything that your car needs. You can go in the waiting room and sit there and wait because they got a fabulous array of snick snacks while you sit there, too. I do like that about Munganaz. The snick snack situation is just off the charts. But they've got uh, new cars. They've got used cars. Ah, yes, they've got cars. And, boy, they sell them by the bunches out there. It's a highly successful dealership, one of the most successful Acura dealerships in the whole country. And, of course, Alton Toyota, same thing. They've got me driving a Toyota Highlander right now. Just absolutely love that SUV. It's a perfect Ew. size. It's big enough. It's got three rows of back seat. It gets good gas mileage. It's, it's quiet. It's smooth. It's got all the bells and whistles. Toyota Highlander, check that out if you're in the market for an SUV. And check out Munganaz no matter what you're in the market for because they'll take great care of you. They're Does online at stlouisacura.com and altontoyota.com. It's Munganaz, St. Louis Acura, and Munganaz Burkhardt, Alton Toyota, sponsor of our 7 o'clock hour here on TMA. The IRC, Illinois Recovery Center, wants you to transform your story. Illinois Recovery Center, the team believes in the strength of every individual's journey to recovery, whether you're taking the first step or continuing your path, the IRC's dedicated team is here to support you. Why choose Illinois Recovery Center? Well, a holistic healing approach, expert care and guidance, safe and welcoming environment, tailored programs for lasting recovery, top-notch facility, and accommodation. IRC builds the unwavering determination to thrive beyond the shadows of the past. Whether you've made the life-saving choice to seek help on your own, or you want to be prepared for the other end of an addiction intervention with a loved one, the chance to learn about addiction recovery is available to you at the Illinois Recovery Center in Swansea. If you or someone you know wants more information about the Illinois Recovery Center, please call 888-472-9559 or visit Illinois Recovery Center. Dot com. Jackson, tell people about Mark Hanna. He's with Evergreen Wealth Strategies. He is. He's my financial advisor as well. Worked with Doug, has worked with uh, Iggy before. He's worked with producer Joe. He's worked with a number of our listeners. Also the same thing. We love working with Mark Hanna because he knows what he's doing in the financial game, not just about you know simple finances. He obviously knows that. He has a ton of wisdom when it comes to planning for financial future, but he understands the balance between happiness in life and money because those two things go hand in hand. He knows how to talk about that. When you get on the phone with Mark Hanna, you really feel like this guy is who I want helping me out with my financial future. It's su super important to have someone to help you guide you through that that it's kind of a difficult process sometimes, especially for someone like me who doesn't necessarily know a ton about finances. But when you have Mark Hanna in your corner, you can rest easy because you know you can get on the phone with him, change your plan if you need to down the road because life has so many variables. I love working with Mark Hanna. I really think you're going to love working with Mark Hanna as well. His number is 314-889-0503 or go online at evergreenstl.com. It's Mark Hanna 
with Evergreen Wealth Strategies. And James Carlton of the Carlton State Farm Insurance Agency. Anytime we're talking tournament. Doug, men's or women's? No, men's sure. Or women's. Either one. You know, you talk about Caitlin Clark. You talk about the officials I making will. sure Caitlin Clark gets to go to the Sweet 16, setting up the matchup with Angel Reese. There was no way they weren't going to let that happen in the Elite Eight. Jackson, do you agree with that take? One more time, I'm sorry. <laughs> oh, come on, pay attention, pal! I, sometimes I have brief lapses. Oh. I'm sorry. <laughs> he does. I see. Now I know he's in the Horton Watkins studio, so, you, so no one can see him, but I can be looking right at him on Balloon Party, and I realize, mm -hmm. oh, God, he just left us. Oh, really? He's gone. Thinking about something else. I don't know what he's thinking about when that's going well, on. It happens to all of us. All right, exactly. One more time. I'm sorry. The officials were going to make sure Caitlin Clark got to the Sweet 16, ideally to set up the batch up in the Elite Eight with Angel Reese and the delightful Kim Balky. Uh, in a perfect world, that would absolutely be the case. I thought in the fourth quarter of that game, they really ramped it up. Having said that, the Mountaineers of West Virginia were playing very physical on the ball, a lot of hand-checking. Mm -hmm. uh, they couldn't really stay in front, so they did a lot of hand-checking. Having said that, it got a little <laughs> tight. Said that. Got, a little, problem with that? <laughs> got a little tight in the fourth quarter, and they probably... Uh, we're making sure Iowa was going to get to that opportunity. However, they were playing very physical. Having said that, having said that, and however. Now, why are you saying having said that so often? Uh, I don't know. I feel the need to put prerequisites on everything. Otherwise, people will dissect everything you say. And yeah. Well, wrong. here's here's a, here's a little uh, lesson. At 26, it'll be helpful. You can't win. That's right. You can't win. Right. They'll chop it up however they want. <laughs> right. People sure. hear what they want to hear. I thought for sure you're going to say, having said that, I didn't see any of the game. <laughs> No, I watched it. That's what I watched. You did watch it? Yeah, oh yeah. Must see TV How, anytime she's playing. Over The Bachelor? Yeah, no thank you. But, you no. know, if that's what you like. What was your one. percentage of Blues, VGK, and uh, Iowa versus West Virginia? Um, mostly Iowa, West Virginia, and then... And make sure to lead with that at 10 oh, one and I've, I mean, but the problem is, like, going from one app to, like, the Bally's app is a real commitment. You know, it's not like a flip to channel, flip to channel. It's a, if I'm going to watch the blues, I have to watch for like at least 10 minutes to get my money's worth on that <laughs> app flip. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I, mean, I actually know what you're talking about. I have to be honest with you. It's like when I'm watching the doggies. I love the Apple TV arrangement, but I got to, I got to go uh, in and out on apps. Mm -hmm. uh, yes, apps. Uh, James Carlton, your one shining moment is going to carltoninsurance.net today to see how much you can save on car, home, and life insurance. He's my insurance agent. He's AJG's insurance agent. He's Plowick's insurance agent. Carltoninsurance.net. 362 five-star reviews for the service they provide at James Carlton and the Carlton State Farm Insurance Agency in Webster Groves. 314-961-4800 or go online at carltoninsurance.net. If your insurance costs a leg and an arm, call James Carlton State Farm. And another development yesterday, Doug. Dylan Carlson mm -hmm. wins the center field job. Yeah. But winning the center field job in spring training for the Cardinals just might be a curse. Oh. Carlson gets it this year and then immediately gets hurt in a collision with Jordan Walker. And he might be out for a while with a left shoulder. Last year, Tyler O'Neill won the center field job. And a week into the season, had his effort called out and was never the same. <laughs> Doug, Dylan Carlson, is this the door opening for your fantasy draft pick? Victor Scott could be. I didn't. I didn't cut him yet. I was thinking about it because he's not available at the moment. Who knows how long before he gets called up? Could be right now, or they could go with Siani in center field for a week or two, depending on how bad. Really like Siani. I don't know job. much about him. I haven't seen him play much. <laughs> but if Carlson's not hurt very badly, although they say it's his left shoulder and he throws mm -hmm. left-handed, so that could be a big issue. And Marmol also said he had hip and ankle right. soreness too. Of all the people you would not want to run into in the outfield going full speed, Jordan Walker would be near the top of that list. But that's, uh, yeah, you feel bad for Carlson because it, it looked like he was putting it together. He, he had a good spring for himself, was hitting the ball well, won the job, and then this happened. So you feel horrible for him. But sometimes with, uh, you know, opportunity, someone like Victor Scott can come up and, and really show what he's, what he's made of. Could be deja vu. Albert Pujols doesn't start the season if Bobby Bonilla doesn't get hurt. No. It, it could be. Could be something like that. Although, the Cardinals, as stubborn as they are and seem to want to upset the fans at every turn, there's every chance that they won't bring up I Victor think there's Scott. 0%. And out, d depending on the severity of the injury, too. If he's out a month, you know, month or so, maybe, but 
week or two, they'll probably just do a fill-in guy. Well, Michael Siriati. I've never heard of the guy. <laughs> he's, the, he's probably going to be starting in center field against the yeah. Los Angeles Dodgers in 48 probably. hours. Probably. I would, if I had to guess, I'd say they'd they'd stick with Siani in center and have Burleson and Donovan your left fielders and Walker and Wright, and those will be your outfielders. Guys, they can put Contreras out there. <laughs> it's in the birthday hog, Doug. If you remember, yeah. month in the last year's season, he became a corner outfielder. Mm. <laughs> remember when they tried Matt Adams? Yeah, Matt Adams. tried him out there too. Carpenter's played some outfield. You don't think they'd put Carpenter in the outfield? I saw Palacios made the uh, opening day roster for a lineup for the uh, Rays. I think he made the roster. Placido Polanco? Placido Polanco. Oh, I think Palacios was oh, the name. Oh, Palacios. Yeah. Uh, it would have been a nice one to have there. And hmm. yeah, I don't know how you could characterize the spring the Cardinals had as anything <laughs> other than horrendous. Man, you don't hold rights. So your home no. opener, you're going to have Serrani in center, and then you're going to have Lance Lynn on the mound. I think it's and Sirianni. the team said it's, they can were we at least pr- pronouncing it. I don't like. Let's, let's get it. You, know, you talk about uh, Nick Sirianni and his I brother don't. Michael, who's now going to be playing center field. And Jackson was calling for Nick Sirianni to be <laughs> terminated by the Philadelphia Eagles. <laughs> it was so Arlovskian. Michael is starting. Philly anymore. people were on board with that, by the way. <laughs> the, Phil- the Philly pundits <laughs> were like, "This kid's got it." <laughs> it's Michael Siani, S I A N I. Six one one ninety five. But why is he with Nick Sirianni? He's not. He's from Glenside, Pennsylvania. Think about that. He ba- must be. That's left. Ready. Throws left. He hit pretty well this spring. Good Carol defense. Was he yeah. from the Rust defense Belt? Wizard. I don't know that he's from the Rust Belt. <laughs> he had a sick catch uh, once he got yeah. in the game yesterday. He's, yeah, very good defensive player. I don't know. This we'll is see. my favorite version of the Cardinals. Like I said. This is your favorite version. Well, the of the only way you can make changes is by hitting rock bottom. That that's the same with addiction. Like it's the same with a lot filler. of things. Like you 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 won't see major changes until you see, you hit absolute rock. And I think we're close. Um, so thank definitely need to change. I've been asking for it for a few years. Maybe this is what you get. Mm. Well, the pitching staff is appears to be in total disarray. Now hold on a second. <laughs> Whoa! Why do you say that? Because they can't get anybody out. Lance Lynn has like a 7-9 ERA, and he's going to start your home opener. Matt's was up around 10 last night, so is Gibson. I mean, not getting anybody out. I guess Zach Thompson was probably their best pitcher in the spring. He's your fifth starter. How did it feel to pitch with a lead like that? Nice. <laughs> I thought he's the fifth starter too, but they got him starting game two in Los Angeles. Well, okay, he's been moved up to the second. <laughs> yeah, see this team get the win. Yeah, it was very good. Guy wasn't even in the rotation; he was up to two. Yeah. Well, he's pitched pretty well, and no one else has at all. At this point, this team is a laughing stock. We're rolling out Miles Michaelis as an opening day starter in Los Angeles, and something named Michael Ciani is a starting <laughs> center fielder. Something named Michael Ciani—that's that, that's not his fair. Name. It's not fair. If they pulled the fan base, 100% wanted Victor Scott to start. Mo would then call a press conference the next day to announce a Siani <laughs> bobblehead night. <laughs> Shut it down! Oh, little Tommy Trippins is getting frustrated. No, <laughs> oh, I don't know that you should shut it down. <laughs> at least they get the season off to an easy start, playing at the Dodgers and then at San Diego. So let's just get let's get 0 and 6 right out of our system. And then you get right to come home top. and see Lance Lynn mm-hmm. throw some BP. Who cares about how the Cardinals play? The Fats and STL Sads will line up hours early for Metro Boom and Bobbleheads. Doug, hmm. big announcement yesterday. If young Metro don't trust you, I'm going to shoot you. That would be the that. only really? one I'd want because it's a non-Cardinal player. That was a press release yesterday, Plowsy. Oh, really? I, I, again, yeah. I turned mm-hmm. everything off yesterday. I got an email, and that was, it. oh, the Cardinals made a move. and No, it's a bobblehead. Well, the fans will show up because, again, what else we got to do here? <laughs> What else, you, what else are you going to be doing all summer? And I don't even know who that is. Is he a St. Louis rapper? He's a producer. Producer. Our number one album in the world. Yeah, he is. I, I'm with Jackson. He is uh, a really big deal from St. Louis who now have made a huge... Look, is he a Viking? Is he a Viking? I, I don't know. North. What's his name again? Metro Boomin. You know, he Metro made... Metro Boomin. Years Boomin. back, he was featured in some Frank Lita commercials, I feel like. Oh, was he? <laughs> yeah, because he bought, you used to buy youth car from there in high school and stuff, and that was funny. Kind of had a little story going. And what's that. his big song? Uh, his biggest song is probably Bad and Bougie they produced.
but his album with Future right now is number one. Bad and bougie. And just... uh, you want to play a little Bad and Bougie for Doug Paul? Okay. I, I mean... Raindrop. All right, I'd like to hear some bad and bougie. All right, while you're pulling that up, I'm going to tell people about Design Air Heating and Cooling because that's where you're going to send in your emails to try to compete with Blueberry Pop Pop. Twelve wins so far this month. Buck Swope with two, Kevin Miller with two, and then a gentleman named Jason got one. Oh, good. Uh, Design Air Heating and Cooling is online at designairservice.com. They're not going to upsell you. You're going to get your air conditioner ready for the warm weather. And, Doug, I know that right now it's brutal, and I know that tomorrow it might not be glorious either. But here we come following tomorrow's weather, and you're going to okay. love it. All Thursday, right. sunny and 66. Friday, 74. Saturday, 72. Sunday, 67. Monday, 73. Tuesday, 67. Mm -hmm. And then Wednesday, it drops down to 57. Now, oh, my problem well. will be here. Uh, Plowhawk, uh, here. Yeah, I, I know the song, but I, it's, it's design a plain version. Heating and cooling so. at designerservice.com. Take Ox off. There you go, Doug. Doug, how about this? This is the number one. This sounds like every other rap song that's ever come out, doesn't it? You'd understand if it was uncensored. <laughs> Look at Doug's face. So, so it's you vulgar like you music. Try broccoli for the first time. They have to. It's vulgar music. You can't. You can't I mean, play they're, the they're uncensored music, and that's what they're giving bobbleheads for now. Well, he has. He's he's a St. Louis legend. Yeah, but, uh, but if it's vulgar... Is that a producer to say, turn up the bass a little bit? Let me create a lot of... Rap. Catch these are questions that you want to... <laughs> he, makes, he makes the music. That's all I hear is He, he does everything but lyrics. Well, all I hear there is bass. But is, mu is much of it vulgar? Oh, yeah. And Absolutely. that's what the Cardinals are celebrating now? Vulgar music? I mean, it's not illegal to say a curse word. It's not illegal, but it's not usually the Cardinals' style. Oh God! Yeah. Who are well, you? Where's your new page, merit baby. Bad? Where's your merit badge? <laughs> well, well, why would we? Why would we celebrate these guys cursing on music? <laughs> when did we get this low? When did we get so dumb as a society that this is what we're celebrating? I just haven't we been I, celebrating I laughed, people you... swearing in music for years. Like, like when? Like fifty years? Like haven't people been cursing in music? No, forever? absolutely not. Remember when Buddy Holly? No, they Partnered never did. with two live crew. Strictly a modern and they thing. they did Mama Juanita together. Remember Mama Juanita? Oi, oi, Spanish fly. Remember that? I mean, the Mills Not Brothers' really. last album was... Yeah. <laughs> Baloney. Fly the yeah. F away. Yeah. We glow lost worm, our way just about glow 20, worm. 15, glow 20 years ago. Glow Worm was about a microween. It wasn't. And, and, and people were talking all over it town wasn't. about it. It wasn't. Speaking of Glow Worm, I'm watching a new show right now called Palm Beach. Mm -hmm. It's with Kristen Wiig, very funny, based in like the 70s to where, you know, rich wives just hang out at the Palm Beach Country Club. Mm -hmm. And Ricky Martin's in it, by the way. And Glow Worm is a featured song. In is it really? the Mills Brothers? Yeah. you got to watch it. Well, it's they should. Awesome. It's a fantastic song. They're out song. at the pool. Everybody's around palm tree and yeah. drinking their, you know, fruity drinks. And you got Glow Worm playing in the Separate background. Separate time. People were nicer to each other. Loved it. It's a great yeah. show, by the way. She get naked in that? She ha I mean, they she has sexual relations but I, I haven't seen anything. She did a movie a few years ago. She got full frontal. Who was this? Really now? good, Christian Wig. Christian Wig. Yeah. Okay. All right. Stop being so prude, Doug. People cuss and lick bee holes. Grow up. Oh, that's from your God. coworker, KG in O Town. Yeah, they do now openly. That's very much a part of our culture. Salatazin? Uh, apparently so. <laughs> I, I assume the guys singing about this or rapping about this kind of stuff. I think the players don't cuss. I think everybody does, but nonetheless, to, to celebrate it, I think is in a, what's supposed to be a family atmosphere, I don't think is a great thing. I mean, you can celebrate cursing and vile behavior all you want, I just don't think it's the way to go. I mean, honestly, I'd rather have Metro Boomin throwing pitching than Lance Lynn. So anything, <laughs> oh, that, would not. anything that puts a pulse to the fan base, I'm for, so... I think the bobblehead will be cool. <laughs> I hope, it, like, they saved a lot of money this offseason. I'm hoping it's better plastic, you know. Stephen oh. Wildwood says, can I use Doug's take as part of a mic drop today? And I would like to encourage yeah. it. Yeah, please do. <laughs> he will not be happy about Metro Boomin. Uh, you are welcome to text in your thoughts. Text inbox active as the day is long. It's presented to you by Jeff Lottman of Compass Realty. Watch this, Doug. J-E-F-F-L-O-T-T-M-A-N-N. -N. 
Dot com. Yeah, that's where you go. Right. And now the next thing you know, you're selling your house with somebody who's been selling houses in St. Louis for nearly a quarter century now. That's Jeff Lotman of Compass Realty, and he joined Compass Realty because it's the number one luxury real estate broker in the St. Louis area. Luxury, to be clear, is not about a price point. It's about an experience, a luxury experience. That's what they do. So if you're looking to buy a home and make a move here in spring and summer to have your family ready for the school year, work with Jeff Lotman at Lotman uh, and Compass Realty, J E F F L. L O T T M A N N dot com. That's J E F F L O T T M A N N dot com. Jeff Lotman, Compass Realty. And think about Can I thank, uh, you were talking design air a little bit ago. Uh, Got to thank Seth. He was kind enough to um, be one of the sponsors for the Megan Meyer Foundation Trivia Night coming up April 27th. So thank you to Seth. Nice. Very nice of you. He's always very charitable. Well, thank you, Seth. Seth Goldcamp, wonderful people, Doug. Boom. Uh, nice. It's Kristen Wig, not Christian Wig. That's from breasts, and then in a parentheses S. I think I just said, "Did she get naked?" I don't think I even mentioned her name. Uh, breasts, why don't you call in? Call in six six nine zero zero four TMA. Uh, you can also text in, but we'd prefer that you call in six three six nine zero zero four TMA. It's the Callier and Thompson phone lines. Doug, don't knock B-hole play until you try it, bro. That's from no. the Orson Woods wacko. <laughs> yeah, you can't really do something until you've actually done it. Like, I've been to a Cardinal game, so I can tell you it's terrible. But like, What's terrible? <laughs> I've never had butt play, so I can't tell you Cut if I would like it or not. At a Cardinal game? <laughs> no, just You're two separate You're tying this into the Cardinals. <laughs> Fight now, Cardinals. Bow tie bar the best thing the Cardinals have ever done, for sure. What's so good Not only the for the time? name, but also, like, the beers are cheap. It's a cool hangout spot. Yeah. No, Doug has that. You had a prostate exam. You know what it's like to have your B-hole played around with? Nice. Well, I don't think he was playing with it. My B-hole. <laughs> he named it Linda. Love that gal. Okay. <laughs> what is she playing? The tin cans? <laughs> uh, it's a sample of Super Freak, but Doug, as you know, of course, Nicki Minaj. Nicki Minaj mixed fusion Moscato. Yeah, there, there's another classy one. And Nicki Minaj mixed fusion Moscato. Oh, hi, Danny. 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 <laughs> Danny. <laughs> Love Danny. I don't often agree with the Orson Woods wacko, but he's spot on here. That's from KG and O Town. And that's interesting because KG and O Town is aligned with Mr. Licks, but maybe there's a fracturing there. The line on what subject? Uh, B hole play. Oh, gosh. KG and O Town's passionate supporter of his anus. Oh. Mm. Oh. God. <laughs> Guys, my favorite part of the show yesterday was when Iggy kept calling Erica Swing's husband Eric. That's from Tracy Woodson. Doug, was that your favorite part of the show yesterday? I don't even remember it happening. Right. No, I think his name is Drew. Doug, what was your favorite part of the show yesterday? I don't he remember said Erica, any of it. Eric, and Drew, so there was a, a rogue Eric. Yeah, it's like people who come back from war. They just try to forget <laughs> all of it. <laughs> Self-coping mechanism. <laughs> Darren, the bow tie bar is gone this year, boo. That's from Big Tuft. What do you mean? Oh, like, no. it's, the con it's going to be bad news for the Plowhawk. Is the concept the same? Can you still go like... Yeah, because they've changed names before. Yeah, I'm fine with it changing names, but like I love the five dollar cans of beers and their TVs everywhere, kind of open aired a little bit. Well, and they keep it open past the seventh inning. Yeah, I, I hope at least it's just a name change. If now you got rid of it and changed a new concept, I'd where was it exactly? Uh, right behind left field under Big Mac Land. Yep. What's it called now? Shoulder sweater bar. <laughs> Brooks, Shoulder sweater. It's probably a Brooks Brothers outlet. Scott Land. Oh. That's that land. land. That's what they're calling it. God, that'd be so good if they took park. the money that they were going to use on free agents and create this little theme park, right? Yeah. Like, you have to Teddy avoid other outfielders going for your legs. Being on like a Ferris wheel and overseeing Seminole. Yeah, Marcelo to see your owners. Big drop. It's going to be fun. Uh, the Bowtie Bar is closed, and it's now Club 793. All right, I don't want to go there. <laughs> You're out. Club 793 doesn't sound like a my style. Does that number mean anything? No, I just... It's got to mean something. 703, I think it is. For Albert, I guess, home run count? Oh. Oh, well, I thought it was Lance Land ERA, but... <laughs> yeah. Hey, come on! I guess, that, I guess the 703 for now would work. we got to wait till the season starts to get that balloon. Well, look, they renovated to some pa fancy pools club, no more cheap beers. That's from Big Tough. That's tough. That, that was the one thing they had going with that cheap section there, because every beer is 18 bucks. I know it's twice the size, but I don't need uh -huh. that much beer. How about this? we got somebody on the ground. Uh, beer Cat says the Bowtie Bar is a private area, and I can confirm it. How about that? Dog? He's we confirming that now. So that, oh, yeah. He's so, mirroring ketchup there. So yeah. nobody can get in. So basically, didn't. it's like a, a, t a ticket. That's how you probably get into these 
little areas now. What do you think that downstroke is to join? I think I it's fifty k. Imagine what spend, dues. Imagine that roster and needing to pay more money for a private club. Mm. I just can't pay fifteen or eighteen bucks for a soda or a beer. I can't do. I, it. I, I can't I, make the myself value, do though. it. The value. It's about a three dollar value, isn't it? Yeah, I, I can't. I, I'm with Doug hundred percent. I can't do it anymore. It's they've priced me out of that. I yeah. just have no interest in. If I'm drinking one beer, I might as well drink five. Well, there's a hundred bucks. I paid six bucks for bottled water Friday night at the Enterprise Center. But, Worth it? But, but, but broke me. It's not bad. Is there not a drinking fountain anywhere here? Dog, and... bathroom sink it, baby. I guess. Well, I started to, and then, but you can't control the hot and cold water there. Well, so perhaps that's the reason. They don't wow. want people filling up their talk water about, bottles. Talk about bad and bougie here. Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Hollywood Casino uh, last year, amphitheater, I got a, uh, a liquid death, which is water. Yeah, good water. Yeah. Twelve bucks. <laughs> Twelve bucks for a water. It's the biggest scam going. I, Bottled water is the biggest marketing scam ever pushed on the American public. I mean, I was stupid enough to say, you just have a glass of water? She goes, no, we have canned water. Okay, liquid death. Twelve bucks. Twelve dollars. Yeah. And we all just kind of go along with it. It's we the greatest, mar marks. greatest marketing thing ever. We are marks. <laughs> we it talk was, about it and I'll go to games. Yeah, I'm sure I will. I got to tell you, I don't know what they do. It was good water. I don't know. What the water do. that comes out of the tap is fine. No, this this is good water. Oh, please. <laughs> <sighs> I am so disappointed because, like I, like I said, that's where I always gravitated towards. And <laughs> why don't we, now why don't it's we a start private own... Albert Pujols bar? <laughs> yeah. Oh, why don't we geez. start our own bottled water? Let's business. do that. We do that today. Because yeah, we could probably do that before we could get around. Oh, it fills liquid. <laughs> Yeah, yeah. Be very vague with the ingredients. And sweet, the... sweet Kai says tap water is poisonous. Yeah, sure. That's well, why I we're all dead. Every day, yeah. Not that. I'll tell you, for, I, I don't buy bottled water. I just fill up three Gatorade bottles and just rotate them. But I think it was last year sometime we got an email. And normally it's something like this. They'll put a note on your door in case people don't see emails. And I didn't see it. But it was an email saying uh, we're at a boil water for lit the next nine hours till we fix these pipes. You know nothing about it. I'm drinking it like crazy. Oh, no. Nothing happened, but still. You had a note on your door? And you no, there see wasn't it? a note on the door. There was just an email. Oh. A lot of people don't check their emails. Right. Yeah, you'd think they would owe you a, a knock on the door, a, a no, note on an email door or something. And I drink water for eight hours. They say about 75% of the tap water you drink out of the tap had been passed through a person at least twice. Think about it, Doug. That's from Dogtown Ty. Oh. He won the, the Jennings Randolph Jr. Probably more than that. I mean, every drop of water you see has been around for four billion years, right? Right. right. It's probably been through many more than two yeah. people. Yeah. You're drinking bath water. Mm. You're drinking Mississippi River water. You're mm. drinking ocean water. It's all... Been... You're drinking brine. Yeah. Uh, yeah, Filtered sure. brine. Yeah. Nice. But it's been treated, somebody thankfully. Take, somebody takes a dump, they flush, and mm. you're drinking that at some point. <laughs> oh, yeah. Bill. Well, you're, you're drinking it with oh, bottled water, imagine. too. Oh, <laughs> this is a kind of a disturbing thought. What if one of your ice cubes had like a pube, like frozen? Oh, oh. Robbie Fabry's. Now what is That's this? Glove blogger Tom Traven just sent in a screenshot. I thought initially it was Dolly Parton mm. with uh, Doug Guy. This is like Dolly Parton and Lily Tomlin to, to, to me. Nine to five. Remember that? Who was uh, Jane Fonda was in there? Was that Dabney Coleman? Yes. Was Dabney Coleman in there? Yeah. yeah. And he's going to join us at nine. Yes. But it's a screenshot of Kathy Griffin saying, when Stormy Daniels comes to your house, you just get in the bathtub and gossip. Don't argue with me. And then Iggy responds, "Is this? did you do this yesterday? I don't think I responded to anything Kathy Griffin's put up. It's oh, from no. your account. It says, hi, I'm Stormy Daniels, and I hate President Trump, and I'm washed up as well. Can I come over? I didn't say that. Well, it's a screenshot. I think I'm from when, I think I'm from 2021, right? Or 20... Nin no, 2019, oh, sorry, 2019, years, 2019. Years back. Well, maybe this is when you were sideways at, after the, whatever. So they're finding something from five years ago? Love blogger Tom mm -hmm. Traven. Is. Iggy, they have zero life. Like, this is, like, their motivation. Yeah, and I said yesterday, I kind of uh, apologize, because I, kind of, I kind of agree with her now, that uh, she really didn't do any of her publicity, mm -hmm. because she had all the opportunity after 2009 to say something mm -hmm. she never did until they came to her in 2016, right before the election, the end of 15, and said, we're going to pay $130,000, you can't say anything. Then she wasn't going to say anything. That's when it all blew up. Mm.
So for the purpose of clarity, you did not tweet this at I, Stormy if yesterday. Nine, 2019, I could have. It was, you know, four and a half, five but, years but ago. But I thought it was from yesterday, but then in, I guess this is five years ago. No, I didn't post that yesterday. Glove blocker. It starts with a G and ends with an ale vulva. Yeah, I think that's gale vulva. Doug, if I pour a glass of water, tap water on my wife, are we doing water, water sports? That's from Orson Woods Wacko. Uh, no, no, you're not. Mm -mm. Harrison's brother, Master, sending in a screenshot of the Gin account and Iggy not showing up when... You know, when I actually type in Golfer Lookup on the Gin app, you show up as a 17.5. Yes, so I, I now have a Gin. Oh, and how about that? Harrison's brother, Master, this is a huge development. Grassi's hook it up? Yeah, they did. Did they really? Really? Yeah. Nah. Gra Grassi's sponsor of the gin account. You went for a sandwich and they gave you a <laughs> golf handicap? How is it possible there that it you is. got a sponsor for your gin? 17.5. I was saying, I was looking up a buddy's handicap, and I go, oh, there's Iggy. He's in there. So when people say they don't see you, I see you. I think it's just uh, he knows Kurt Rohde over there, and he just gave him my number, and they put me back up. Is your last posted score from 2022? <laughs> yeah, I, because of my shoulder. I think I played nine holes last year. I tried yeah, to get, so you know, you're I, you're a yeah. I uh, shot a nice round hundred on Oct in October of 2022. Yeah. No, I worked on the game, just a little putting and chipping, but I didn't really. I played nine holes, and then I played the hit and giggle. How's the shoulder now? Fine. I haven't used it in a year. Nice. You haven't used your shoulder in a year. Well, every once in a while for. Oh God. Can for you what? Use your shoulder. Military press. Oh, you just made a master material God. gesture. That's That's what America. just happened. Doug, it just happened in our studios, on cam, on cam. So that's the only exercise no, you got from the injury? <laughs> Maybe. You moved. Didn't you pick up boxes and things? And yeah, but I didn't, I didn't go out and play 18 holes of golf from bring it back and swing it through. And, you know, I didn't, take away. I didn't do any excess. So are there some chances that you may not be able to finish a round? Or oh, that? that could be a huge advantage for who are you playing? Todd Reesing? No, no, I'm Licks. Me. Oh, yeah, Mr. Licks. That's yeah, always Mr. a possibility. Licks. Man, you'll be like Tiger. Yeah, I'll play seven holes and walk off. Yeah. Mm. But keep an eye on that. Well, I don't have a have a good video for or any of that. Tiger has you might uh, disqualified. Up I don't know. KG and O-Town is actively texting in about this situation. Uh, Iggy has a gin and is officially in the tournament. Okay. Cannot say the same for Todd Reesing. What's the deal with Todd Reesing? That's your opponent then, Plowhawk. I guess he doesn't got one. Yeah, well, he does fuzzy, so. Maybe the match of no handicaps. Just play straight up? I said I'd play straight up. Nice. Well, maybe it would be more fair if you have no handicap to not get the maximum handicap, but instead be given like a 15 or something. Otherwise, people could be cheating. What does it matter if they're both playing straight up? If you give me a 15, I'm about to get my ass stomped. Well, if, we're, th if we're this life. bad, we should get our ass stomped. <laughs> But neither that them, would be appropriate. But neither of them have a handicap. So they're playing straight up. But I'm saying just in general for the tournament, those who don't have a handicap, maybe they should be assigned a handicap, but not the maximum, but something reasonable. No, it's very simple. If you don't have a handicap, you can't play. Boom! No, that's not that simple. You don't it's make not a that handicap. Simple at all. Well, Doug, what do you want to do that day? You want to go out for it's lunch? not that simple. <laughs> Except for people on the show. You have a, you're, you're grandfathered in. So this. It's all taken care of. Uh, no, I don't think you get to make the rules. <laughs> and I feel bad. I know I don't. Telling Todd Reesing, man, that sucks. We can't play. One of us mm -hmm. has to get a gin, and it yeah. ain't me. Uh, Mr. Lick somehow is involved in this tournament, and he says Todd has not submitted a gin yet. What is Mr. Lick's involvement I, with this? I don't know. <laughs> maybe maybe Lick's is KG. And people are saying... Whoa. Wow. I mean, never met him. <laughs> I have never met Mr. Licks. I have no clue who he is. Do so you think Mr. Licks is KG in O-Town? I Doug, don't. what a reveal it would yeah, be. He could be. He could be anybody. I don't know. He could be. Uh, I mean, he's going to have to introduce himself in, at Gateway. I don't know who he is. And I was telling uh, somebody yesterday, he said, do you really not like this Licks? I said, "Like it's, it's part of the show. I mean, he calls and he wants to bash me. I'm going to bash him back. I sure. said, but I don't know the man. No. It could be all a shtick, and I meet him on at Gateway, and he's a very nice guy. Well, not likely. But I've never you didn't him, talk so. to Daddy Padre throughout your match, though. No, I per don't. Carlos Spicy, we no, I want to know. No, I had no interest in talking to him. Another guy on the enemy <laughs> list. <laughs> <laughs> but I didn't think he was a nice guy. Daddy you Padre, Mr. Licks might be a nice guy. Could be. I never met him. No, Licks is KG. That's from Stephen Time. <laughs> 
Like this could be one of the greatest reveals in the history. Uh, yeah, of the I guess show. it could be. Yeah, this could be like uh, what's his name, Bruce and Shoes, and <laughs> when we found out he was uh, the gay guy in New York. Doug, mm. what was his name? Well, Bruce and Shoes, Tucker. Was the gay guy Tucker. Yeah. When we found out Tucker was uh, Bruce. Mm-hmm. It was disappointing. And a few other us. people we didn't yeah. know about either. Sure. Lix is going to be up four after four, and Iggy will WD. That's from the Crystal City Clam Hammer. Perfect. Now, why would that be perfect? Iggy's like hoping for that scenario. Yeah, they know. It'd be the other way around it. He's four down through four, and he quits. Ah! You, think, you think you're going to tan his hide? I don't know. It depends on him playing. Yeah. I've never seen him play. I don't know who he is. What, what, if, it's, what if you show up in KG and O-Towns waiting for you on the tee? What a moment it would be. It would be. Well, it would be false advertising. Well, he's not really advertising. Well, KG anything. is playing somebody else, so I can't play Who's two matches. Playing? Chairman Stephen Wildwood, right? KG? I, I think so. so. I think so. That Stephen Wildwood's the guy, Doug. I'm telling you. He's getting better, barely. I'm telling you. Yeah, getting the bracket. 19 pops. The bracket's uh, here, the I bracket believe. Board Jesse took care of the yeah, bracket. Yeah, it's right over there. So KG had to get in and fill it up. <laughs> well, he's in charge of it. Well, he's a full-time employee here now. Well, two, two years ago, I was in charge, and I filled it up. I didn't keep it up, updated, but I filled it out. That's hard to believe. <laughs> how many how many people can follow me in my group? I've had almost ten people ask me if they can come to the match. That's from Mr. Licks. Doug, what are I they, what's the number for the galleries? They can fit eighteen thousand, I think I'm told. Yeah, I suppose anybody could come and just walk and watch. Yeah, you can walk. That means you get to watch me and the Pope too, because I want to be in the Iggy uh Mr. Licks slash Cage O Town group. Is this a noon tea time? Eleven thirty. That's good enough. I got the trivia night the night before. I might be a little tired. We already have tea times? A trivia night's going to wear you out? Well, you're there for like three hours, and you help. I don't have to help break down because I'm the president, but I do help break down. <laughs> wow. <laughs> you're a big hitter, so you don't have to pick up a couple of card tables. <laughs> I always help. I try to help Doty after our TMA lives, and he goes, no, don't touch it. Mm. He doesn't want me to touch his equipment. Todd Reesing does not have a gin, but he went to DeBerg, and I don't think they're allowed to have one there. That's from Steve and Wilder. Oh. At DeBerg, you can't have a handicap? I, I guess it's possible. But You're people, the Cavalier. People said me and Doug should just make one, but like, doesn't you, don't you need four to six rounds before you get a number? So like, me and Doug downloading the app and creating one isn't going to give us a no. handicap. We don't have time to put in four or five rounds. I think if you, you can put old scores in. Well, that's just guesstimating at that point. I have no scorecard. To yeah, and people just make stuff up. That. That's why they. All right, uh, cool. Then I'm a 24 now. Yeah, yeah my hand. <laughs> I just shot a 108 at Riverside. <laughs> He's playing tough that Calm time. wind. Under the real <laughs> rules of golf, where you never improve a lie and you know, never take a <clears throat> breakfast ball or, or anything and never try that putt again. Under the real rules, yeah, I'd shoot 110 too. Yeah, so, okay, I'm a 20. Actually, yeah, let's make a gin. I'll be a 24.7. I'll be 24.8. And, uh, and then won't you get like 15 <laughs> shots on the Harrison's <laughs> brother Master says he wants to caddy for Mr. Licks. He can walk and caddy. Well, God, that go. so that's going to happen now. Harrison's brother Master and mm. Mr. Licks are in this pairing. You won't let him if on the cart? If you guys tee off at 11.30, I'll tee off at 4.30. We don't have <laughs> extra carts. Sean's not going to let people just take out carts to caddy. No, but he can drive and you can sit next to him. Who? Licks. I'm probably going to have to sit next to him anyway. Yeah. There's not going to be caddies. Oh. Tim's gonna have to sit next to Pope, unless me and Tim oh, can I sit love in the, the same. Pope, but I, I I enjoy walking. Oh. Did that put a crimp in your? <laughs> no, I say you could sit in my cart, and he can sit in the other cart. You, you were gonna give Tim your cart, so you would walk. No, Tim and I sit in a cart, and then the, our two opponents in a cart. But then there probably be licks, and probably be kicking balls out <laughs> behind trees because nobody's watching them. Oh, oh wow, that's a serious yeah. charge of a man's integrity. Yeah, Thank you. Will you drive the cart to send a message? I always like driving. Yeah, send them out. You did it when I was on the practice green, 2021, when you were playing Daddy Padre. Iggy whips up to the green like he's playing Grand Theft Auto and goes, Padre, get in here. Aren't you, uh, didn't you drive your, uh, didn't you drive your car on a... <laughs> on the wet grass at Normandy. Oh, no, yeah. no, yeah. Your, his car, when you left a golf course recently, you drove on the cart path, right? Oh, Norwood. Was oh, yeah. <laughs> right before a champion's Yeah, game, we right? had our ascension. Didn't find his way out of the golf course. We had our ascension to TMA Live there, and I made a wrong turn. I ended up on the cart path, I think, on 17. <laughs> <That's> <laughs> God, so good. That is really a wrong turn. So I got a good. picture. Well, it's it's the, it's the driveway uh, where, like, the maintenance people were parking, and then there's one road here, one road here. I just went this road, and 
All of a sudden, four. What are you doing? There's guys in the fairway. I'm on the cart path. I said, oh, sorry. I had to back it up to the tee box. They're waiting for me to... I actually took a picture of it. Mm. I said, hold on. I'm going to take a picture of where I am. Gosh. Yeah, it was pretty embarrassing. Well, you won't do that at Gateway, will you? No, I mean, I, I, I know I'm going at Gateway. No. And hopefully it's carts off path. Yeah. Yeah, that's it. When it's carts on path at Gateway, there's a... If you're on the left side, there's usually a lot of distance between cart path and fescue. I just walk it at that point from, like, if I hit it one bad, it's like, I'm going to grab a couple clubs. No yeah. point. Yeah, I don't like that rule. Can't get off the cart path. That that really crimps my style. Really does in a big way. I already have I already have a caddy locked in for my match with Iggy. I do welcome Harrison's brother master in the gallery. However, it's from Mister Licks. Well, you don't have that many friends. So. Oh, I have an extra foot wedge there. Yeah, yeah. I think we should. And it's KG's call because he's running it. But uh, I think last year we did play down on the rough, but roll it in the fairway. Only for the fact that Gateway is, you know, it's it's bent grass and a lot of hackers out there have a tendency to bring up 15-foot divots. So there are a lot of divots in the fairway that people don't repair because they don't know how. So I think it'd be fair if you roll it in the fairway. What about a berm patch? Let's say I have a berm. about that? Hmm. Like, well, it's not, I think that should be a rule anyway. I mean, it's not your fault you had a perfect drive and you go in somebody's divot. Yeah, I agree. I'm going to play it as it no, lies. I'm going to be a real 24 point take a, You can take a, a poll if you like and see who wants to do it, but I think it's only fair you roll in the fairway. You're not, I mean, you're not improving a lie anyway. It's just you're in the fairway, so it should be a good shot, but if you happen to roll in a divot, you shouldn't have to hit out of a divot. I will pay for Plowboy's uh, USGA membership. This will allow him to register for a gin. That's Paul from the wealthy part of West County. Oh, yeah. and he is very I wealthy. I respect very. it, and what a great job on Taser, because <clears throat> I know he's made a ton of money, made him wealthier. I just don't see the point with this being the only event I'll need it, and mm -hmm. this is too soon of a time frame to even make a real number realistic. And I don't want to make up scores. I haven't played since October. There's no way I could think of the last five or six rounds I've Well, played. you got a month before you play. Just go out and play... You know, once a week, get some rounds in. I could. I probably won't. No. You'd have to like it more. I love golf. I just, I mean, I'm not looking to spend a few hundred dollars to get my gin up yeah. so I could spend another few hundred dollars playing in the fan pit. I'll, I'll go out and play. have a bad fun. handicap loose in the first round and save a couple hundred dollars. Yeah, I think that's, and it's, it's fun to be like, you know, kind of go out there and not know what you're going to hit. Unless I find a course that wants to count me, I'm not going to be playing much golf at all this year. <laughs> <laughs> I would try to be more subtle with it, but man, he just dug deep in there. Somebody you know, better like come it. up with some free golf for you. <laughs> I'm being serious. I mean, this is on the golf course owners around town. It's not on you. Thank you for saying it, Doug. Well, if you want to call me, yeah. I mean, we played Normandy for so many years, and now I'm without Normandy. Mm -hmm. So I have no course. Seems unfair. <clears throat> well, I'm not going to pay for golf, so. <laughs> well, so how are you going to play in this event? I don't think we have to pay in this. I'll pay my $50. I think we do. I'll pay my $50 <laughs> entry fee, but I think our golf is comped. Are you sure about that? I was last year. Of course, I only played. I think I lost in the first round last year. So. <laughs> yeah, Who'd luckily. You lose to? I don't remember. Okay. You were playing with me, I think. No, I didn't play last year. I, my shoulder, I forfeited. <laughs> How'd you hurt the shoulder? Was that a fall in the shower? I don't know. It could be. Well, you don't remember how you heard it? <clears throat> well, I know I fell in the shower, but then I think it was like tendonitis. Mm -hmm. I was told it was tendonitis, so that's, you don't get tendonitis from falling out of the shower. I wouldn't think. You know. well, a former Blues goalie, Danny Padres, in the YouTube chat and said, I did not understand match play and was still beating Iggy through 16 holes. He beat me on the last hole. He's lucky I didn't understand match play. Doug, that's Daddy Padre. You're the only one that really does, Tim. I know, and I so, wasn't there for that match. Yeah. I could have helped him with it. Right. There's nothing to understand. You lost. That's the only thing he, he didn't. Understand. He didn't get match play. Well, what, is it, what does it matter? He's still trying to get in the hole. He didn't understand match play when no. he, he lies eight on the green and I'm putting for birdie. doesn't say gimme. Uh, uh, uh. Yeah, that's not knowing match play. Go ahead and just tap in the putt. 
<laughs> pick it up. Save time. Let's go to the next tee. No, why, why are you making me putt? Time. I can six putt and beat you. <laughs> well, then just go ahead and do it and stop complaining. <laughs> well, that's, somebody, that's somebody that doesn't know match play. He doesn't understand it like Tim does. I hit a ball in the middle of the fairway of 110, and he said three balls out of bounds. He doesn't say, let's go to the next hole. He's still playing. What if you just if you stop playing, aren't you just going to wind up waiting at the next tee box for the group in front of you? No, not if they're playing ready golf and they're ready to go. They're not dilly dang around. Well, yeah, if there's no one there, you won't. But most of the time, if you, if you stop playing, aim, aim you're going to pointing, and they don't know what they're doing. Uh, Mr. Alex has just invited Daddy Padre to be in the gallery. <laughs> <laughs> it's going to be like all the people you've blocked on social media are going to be following us around. Yeah, first time we get to see him in a while. Can someone put me in touch with Prod Joe? I have a question for him. That's Mr. Alex. Yeah. No, he wants nothing to do with you either. He wants to get Joe out there. Yeah, I'm sure Joe's going to come out and watch a match. Yeah. Maybe uh, Lisa Ann can join the gallery. <laughs> then I'll be forfeiting. Uh, oh. KG No Town regarding us paying for the golf at uh, <laughs> Jay Randolph Jr. Fan Page Club Championship says the following. Only four show members are comped. I will come up with a fair way to decide who get the other three. That's from KG mm. No Town. <laughs> well, there's not seven people on the show, so your math isn't right. Well, there's five of us, so mm. someone's not getting comped. Well, I don't have a gin. No, I don't either. <laughs> I don't mind not playing. I'll be a sparrow getting extra looks in gallery. Yeah. <laughs> no, I think it's, it's only, I can't tell them what to do, but it's only fair. I mean, you know, we're bringing all these people out to play this golf tournament at Gateway. I think it's only fair that we don't pay for golf. <laughs> <laughs> that is fair that everyone should pay but us. Yeah. Why does this 17 and a half handicap talk down to all the other golfers? <laughs> you are not good at golf. You are a hack. Oh. That's a reluctant cuck who is not happy with Iggy handicap shaming. Who am I talking down to? Reluctant cuck Colin Callier and Thompson. Just, you're talking down to hacks who leave divots in the fairways. 636 well, well, you don't have to be a hack to leave a divot. Well, I mean, huge divots. When you hit behind the ball and follow through and your divot is the size of a Shrub. small plot of land in Montana. Nice. Hmm. <laughs> hey, don't buy it's Montana. Like that square footage price is insane. Mm. Doug, here's the deal. Do you want to support the EDF group as a sponsor of TMA? It's real sure. simple. Do you have a fire extinguisher where you work? The answer is yes, you certainly do. So please email the EDF group at fire at the EDF group.com so a technician can come out and explain to your team how the EDF group can save your company money. Again, that email address is fire at the EDF group.com. The EDF group is hot and will prevent your facility from having hot fires. Experience the EDF group difference. Learn more at the EDF group.com. Iggy, per Sean. Four show members are comped. I obviously get one for doing all of this work. We will draw to see which three of the remaining five show members mm. get comped. That's from KG and O Town. Mm. Well, that makes no sense. Four show <laughs> you members. You could get are bounced out. So KG ain't getting comped. Well, I'm not playing. <laughs> he just withdrawn. Mr. Licks is on to 32. Well, that, that made it. That, that, that doesn't make sense. Yeah. Yeah, I'll comp four of the people on the show. Well, that's the the course did that, I'm sure. It's not KG. It's the course. Well, that's what I'm saying. That doesn't sound like Sean. I'll I'll comp four of you guys on the show. But Jackson, can you get Sean Barnes on? Jackson, he's got one of them. That'll Jackson, you're going to have to pay. No, that's so not. two out of the five of us are paying. Yeah, well, he's not even on the show, so he should count himself. Oh, he's out very much us. on the show. Why is he comping himself? He's doing well, because he's doing all well, the work. He said four on the show. He's not really on the show. Well, he is on the show. Oh, yeah. When was the last time he's been on? I don't know. It's not that long. The last time you went on vacation. <laughs> <laughs> Doug, you just got vacation. I, I know. I don't know. Get ready. Aren't yeah. you going somewhere? Sure you got another one. Yeah, a couple weeks. Going I'll be going again. <laughs> mm -hmm. You bet I will be. <laughs> it doesn't sound like you're very apologetic. <laughs> no, I couldn't possibly be less apologetic <laughs> if I tried to. Well, I'll be taking off after Thanksgiving. <laughs> yeah, I think everyone knows that. Yeah, week before <laughs> The one person who should get free golf is the guy doing all the work for the tournament, not the senior masturbator. Steven Time is oh. now upset about this. Yeah, he should. For the he should, as should the other five. You can't pick and choose, say, yeah, I'll give four of you guys comps, two are you going to have to pay. Yeah, screw that. Oh, God, sounds like you're out. Hey, Iggy, you need me to start a GoFundMe so you can play in this tournament. I'll do that for you, pal. That's from Gary Pinkle's cell phone etiquette. No, you don't need to do that. You'll just get out if you have to pay? <laughs> You're WD'ing. 
If I got to pay him. <laughs> I mean, it's stupid. Why? Why? We're putting this thing on. We're sitting here talking about it all the time. Free pub. They're not a sponsor. The least they should do is, you know, comp the guys that are talking about their golf course. Yeah. I love Gateway. It's one of the best courses in the state. Backtracking. Sean. Sean, great, we love you. Sean, one of the great uh, people. Uh, uh, Daddy Padre is recounting the match. You were livid going into 17, muttering and bitching under your dart-filled breath. I just didn't realize I needed to clutch up on the holes I had dots on because I was too busy enjoying my glizzy and hanging with Carlos and Aunt Peg. No, no, that's true. There's mm. that one time I was nervous about playing with you and mumbling under my breath. <laughs> Sounds like you were angry, though. No, about 17. Never angry, either. No. I don't think anybody was talking to you. How about this, Iggy? I will pay for Ken's round in the Fan Page Club Championship once I get confirmation that he has fully paid that super overdue pick six debt. That's from glove blogger Tom Traven. Oh. Yeah, well, that, that's... You'd be upside down on that one. That has nothing to do with me, so I'm not going to explain it again. I've never explained it. I just, I just. <laughs> well, then you couldn't explain it again. I just said I it had nothing to do with me. I'll leave it at that. It was Joe's book. <laughs> KG, can you put me in for the free golf drawing? That's from Chairman Stephen Wild, but he's in now. Yeah. Sure. Everyone's gonna want in. Yeah, you're about you're as much part of the show as KG is. No, he's not. Uh, Warson Woods Wacko says I will buy out Iggy's spot. I want to play that fraud licks. Oh my God, dog! Uh, what if you had the Warson Woods Wacko come in and play Mr. Licks? I'm not sure the course is big enough to hold it. And then do the balance sheet showdown mm. at the 19th hole. Mm. God, is he on the fan page? Uh, Doug is. Uh, I, I, I don't uh, know. Yeah, he is. There you go. Well, he should be playing anyway. Did he not put his name in? Uh, KG No Tone. Well, not every member of the fan page put their name in. I I don't know if he. Well, he likes to or... play golf, so you would think he would. Uh, yeah, I figured. I thought he would be in already. Uh, KG No Tone. Uh, I guess he just held the drawing. Never mind. It's been decided. Me, Tim, Doug, and Jackson are cop. The committee has spoken. <laughs> <laughs> See him. <ya>. You're out. <laughs> Yeah, I think he's making it all up. But. Me too, and I think it's funny, but if it's serious, I'm out too. Yeah, he's gone! Oh, just lost two. Well, that'll make it easy. That makes it easy. You know, there's no headaches. Look, I'm not I even... It's, it's nothing new. I said I'm not going to pay for golf. Yeah. Anywhere. You shouldn't have to with all you've done. <laughs> the last, <laughs> last, time I paid, last time I paid for golf was at uh, Bay Hill with Jay, and we only paid card fees. Arnie took care of the rest. Arnie! Arnie your good game. friend Arnie. <laughs> Yeah, well, through Jay Sr., but... Mm. Guys, this is where Ken panics because Warson Woods Wacko's calling his bluff and taking his place. That's from Arbor Day. Yeah, I'm really panicking. Yeah, I don't think he really cares uh, either way. Yeah, uh, uh, Warson Woods Wacko says, I'm on the fan page? If so, delete me from there now. <laughs> okay, I thought he was. <laughs> My bad. Oh, you can delete yourself. I just assumed. <laughs> I thought mm. everybody joined that page. Yeah, mm-hmm. If anyone wants to come and be there for the Iggy Licks matchup, please reach out to KG on the fan page, and he will put you in touch with me directly. Since I call in twice a month, I should get comped as well. I put in as much effort into this show as Iggy does. Lastly, my Loro Piana collection is worth more than Wacko's house. That cuck wouldn't stand a chance against me if we go toe-to-toe -to -toe with balance sheets. Doug, that's Mr. Licks. Okay. You imagine how happy Sean Barnes would be after, you know, you just finish up eight, around, eight hours round... And then you got two guys in the lobby getting their balance sheets out. <laughs> nice. So every, everyone will show up with briefcases in their portfolio. Yeah, I would imagine council. Yeah, I would think so. He'd pull up with their, yeah, that'd be funny. This <laughs> effing clown. Uh-oh. Producer Joe is listening no, to the show this morning. No. Too poor to pay for golf. Doesn't pay for competitions because he doesn't like rules. He really is the worst, and I don't know anyone can be around this kind of crap on a daily basis. Mm. That was a shot at me. Uh, that's from producer Joe. Doug, he's texting in from the 770. Okay. He's, he's the, most, he's the most miserable human being I've ever met. That hot, so, oh. that hot Lana? I don't know how anybody can hang it around is. with you. And I won't bring people into it like you do. I'll just leave it at that. I mean, you really are just miserable. No. Oh. He just closed the books on that one. <laughs> so it doesn't that's sound like you two are going to bury the hatchet. Well, you know it's never going to happen. Well, I was hoping it would. No, I couldn't care less. Across the street, we had that all the The post, Plowhawk. The post. Went for a shake. Iggy tried to shake hands. Yeah, just, Project uh, goes, no, nah, I'm good. I have a tendency to not associate with people that just make me sick. Hmm. What about that? 
Rod Jail. Well, I'm sorry it's come to this. Because I really thought there was a bond there for a while. Yeah. <clears throat> well, passing out on the front steps of a bank because you're drunk is always a good look for a producer. <clears throat> oh, no. Oh. <clears throat> he did get hit on the head while I sat on the stoop. Getting kicked out of a casino. Policeman hit him with a nightstick. Kicked out of a casino because you're wandering around in the pit boss area. Oh. Another good look. <clears throat> well, look, it's all going awry um, now. All over yeah. KG and O Town got <laughs> comping golf. <laughs> I'm not mad about it, by the way, KG. And I just want you to know that. He's making it all up. But I'm with you if it's true. I don't care. I don't care if I play or not. Well, I'm glad we're putting that. Mm. Really, we're hyping this tournament up. <laughs> uh, who does Ziggy like less, producer Joe or Lisa Ann? That's from Breast, and then in parentheses an S. I don't care for either of them, but I've been mad at producer Joe longer. So producer Joe wins. He's still in so first place. That could be place. a sign of a possible peace mm -hmm. between you and Lisa Ann. Nice. All she has to do is apologize. <laughs> oh gosh. So that's all Joe had to do too, and he was too proud to do that. He may still do it. No, that, that will never happen. <laughs> no. <laughs> Uh, Doug, Andy Crouppen is in the building, and he will help us litigate all of these situations. Okay. Yeah, uh, Brown and Crouppen is the title sponsor of this program. Jackson, if you want to bring Andy in, maybe we can yeah. Maybe we can figure this out and see if he can, can help the situation on the comp to golf. Okay. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the studios from Brown and Crouppen. Oh. Well, here he is now. All right, hello, Andy. Good to see you. Here he Andy, is right welcome now. in. This Thanks is, for having you're me. You're walking into a cauldron of tension this morning. Mm. Oh, wonderful. Oh, not uh, <laughs> Ozarks versus Destin again. <laughs> no, 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 no. Even no. worse. Iggy uh, versus KG and O-Town. I don't know if you've met KG and O-Town. Not uh, met. Certainly his reputation precedes him. Absolutely. Hmm. He is in charge of our fan page club championship uh, golf tournament, which is named in honor of the late, great Jay Randolph Jr., and uh, he just sent in a screenshot of Sean Barnes' email. It says, up to four TMA employees. Iggy, uh, KG and O-Town just sent this in, and it's a screenshot of Sean's email. Up to four TMA employees will receive comped green fee cart and range for one round on April 28th, leaving them owing $51 per person that day. They will then be required to pay a $23 fee for any additional matches they play. Uh, KG and O-Town says, I'm not making this up, Iggy. I am a man of honor. I figured it wasn't made up. I, I, don't, mm. I didn't think KG would play that game. I think he would have a better idea of how to So, play. Andy, there are five of us here today. Yeah. We had KG, that's six, but then there's only four comped rounds, and that's where we get into the issue. All that money you just came into, Iggy, I thought you'd offer it. It's a principle with me. <laughs> what, what, what exactly like is the that. principle? The principle is that I've not paid for golf since 1992. So? I'm not going to start now. <laughs> so, 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 so I guess is, so, are you saying that you're not going to play or are you insisting that you're going to play and somebody else is going to pay? No, it's up to KG, whoever he picked. And I think he already said he picked everybody but me and Plowsy. So if that's the case, I'm not playing. Wait, I thought everybody has to pay 51 bucks. No, four people get comped. Oh, the 51 is if you have a fifth. Uh, well, then we also have to pay entry fee toward the prize pool. So uh, that, will, that means everybody will be paying um, a minimum of 51. And then those who don't get the comped will be paying... The uh, I think it's seventy nine dollars greens fees. I feel like golf is an expensive sport. It's an odd place to take a stand. Like <laughs> it, it's like you know I haven't paid for mints because I pick them up at restaurants and doctors' offices. That makes sense to me because those are free everywhere. But golf, that's 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 a uh, that's an expensive sport. You got to pay to play. That's How have you not, not played for golf? Paid for golf since nineteen ninety two. I know a lot of people. <laughs> Okay. <laughs> have, have you? Um, he kind of put his shoulders up. How many times have you played since 1992? A lot. Really? Huh. By well, the way, I want people to know I, I pay for golf on Sunday, so I. I there I you pay go, for Doug. Golf. Oh, do you? Yeah, well, I always yes. do. What about thinking you've been playing with the house's money for all this time, and it's time to give a little back? Let let the next guy play for free for a little while. Look, I played at Sawgrass for free. <laughs> 
I mean, that one just... That's like a Mr. Lick says, God bless Andy Crouppen. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> we oh, all no. have our hills to die on, and I guess this is one. Uh, Beer Cats won the Milagro Tequila Listener of the Month in January oh, 2024, oh. and he says, here's an idea. Six of you, four spots are free, so the six of you can split the two non-comped rounds. Can the miserable Hoosier swing that? That's from Beer Cats. What about that? That's, mm. that's equal, Iggy. How about that? Ignore the oh, I can insult. I can swing the 20-something to play. It's just, it's now, it's just, it makes no sense that the show is going out there promoting this, doing this, putting this all together, and only four of you get to play for free. Two of you are going to have to pay. That makes no sense to me. Oh, uh, so what you're saying is, is you are providing a benefit to this uh, Not event. me personally, the show is, not me well, personally. Well, you're part of the, you're but the part show. But the show is all of us. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Five of us, so. Why can't they comp you another fifth? I'm, I'm, I'm going, I'm leaning Team Iggy. I just nice. give you 20 I like bucks. That. You, this is huge. That, you, have, you have a counselor. You mm -hmm. walk that line. I, I mean, yes, if you are essentially acting as, you know, a draw for this event, why should you pay? That's what I've been saying. So, Iggy, your issue is not with KG and O-Town, then? No, he was told to only pick four. Right. So it's not, he's just picking and choosing. I'm a fan of KG. I, I, I like figured to see, he was I would like to see the hat he picked up. KG, like, go to bat for <laughs> Iggy. My goodness. <laughs> you think there's an issue with the hat? I, well, I'd like to see him pick it, not Doug, just say you, he you picked. you have the hat? I don't have a hat. I picked four. <laughs> KG, Doug, Jackson, and Tim are in. Plowsy and Iggy got to pay. I'd like to see the, see the picks. And I'm fine drawing straws. I'm fine how it is right now. For me, I, I, I'm not holding any grind. I, I, I think this is funny as hell. Honestly, I'm enjoying every minute of this. But Iggy, why don't you take my spot? I don't have a handicap anyway. I'm Doug's not sure. Doug's WD can, now. I'm not sure we I can just play lost it Doug, all Andy. these Sundays. No, you don't want to pay now? It would be 25 well, a man. Yeah. It would be 25 a man if we Here's 20 bucks, Iggy. Let's <laughs> just move <laughs> on. I don't, up right here. <laughs> no. Come on. Let me get with that count. Uh, Jackson sounded kind I'll of give me twenty bucks. No, I thought it was fifty, seventy-five bucks to play. So. No, if they all split it, it's twenty. Right. What did he say? And after that, after this, if you make the second round, it's twenty-seven dollars. Twenty-three uh, bucks. Twenty-three dollars. Every so round. So what are they charging to play the first round? Um, I believe there's an entry fee for the prize pool. Yeah, that's fine. About. But what about the golf for the first round? Uh, four of the rounds are comped, and uh, and I don't know what the, I guess everybody would be paying the normal fee. 75? 70, 70, I think it's 79. Yeah, I ain't paying that. So you're out. <laughs> <laughs> I, would, I would say if you're going to charge 23 bucks to play. But why is the, why is the first round you got to pay and the second round is 23? Because I, I don't have the answer to that. I'm just yeah. reading what's in the prompter. Maybe KG and O-Town Doug is the commissioner. Yeah. Uh, KG oh. Notown, call into the Callier and Thompson phone lines. Andy, that could help you be brought yeah. up to speed. Andy needs, uh, do we have an extra set of headphones for Andy to hear the oh, call? I mean, and would you be able to hear Andy? You know, I I, you care. could not hear uh, Bad and Bougie playing. Is that yeah, some could licensing deal? Yeah. Oh, is that right? On YouTube, on YouTube? right? Oh, yeah. Yeah. Mm. yeah, we had to turn the aux off because they'll flag you for playing yeah. more than 30 seconds. Uh, Doug, you know uh, Kay in Southtown? I don't. Uh, he says, Gateway doesn't need your publicity. TMA should be thankful they're letting us play this event there. Buck up, boy. That's hey. K in Southtown. Oh. Whatever. <laughs> okay. <laughs> so you're not playing? I probably will. If it's only, if I, if it's only $23, I'll play. It's, oh, it's so you're 70, coming around. It's $75, i am not. What, um, what other things do you have like that? Anything else you've gotten free since 92? Probably a lot of things. But are there any other hills you'll die on, like, no. I don't pay for golf? No. Look, the way I look at it, I'm not good enough to play. I'm just wasting money to go pay It's a handicapped golf. event. You should have a, as good a chance as anybody. I know. But still, you go out there and you lose three or four balls. I've got to actually pay for this, and I'm losing balls. It's stupid. It's fun. <laughs> what do you got to do? <laughs> I guarantee you people go out play Pebble, Pebble Beach. They say, you know, the scenery's nice, but I can't believe I'd have spent, you know, $1,000 to play this course. I agree with that. That's <clears> insane. <throat> I'm not much of a golfer myself. Although I played, there was this place in California we were a few years ago that had this beautiful course right on the water. You know, one of those kind yeah, of yeah. courses. But they called it like an executive course. And so it was only nine holes. Yeah, and no, like you like that executive nine? I don't mind it. Yeah, uh, it's, but, nine's about enough for me. And it's a part three. Mm -hmm. So you felt like you're playing like on one of these fabulous courses, except mm -hmm. you could act, it's like uh, Tower T. Um, it was fun. Yeah.
That's yeah. how all golf. All golf should be seven holes. It should be a seven hole game. Yeah. You lose me after that. They've talked a bit about making them uh, six, divided into six hole courses. Even you know, better. Six, six, and six. You can play 18, you can play six, you can play 12. Oh, the mark of the devil. You play 18. <laughs> mark of the devil. <laughs> All right, that's Everybody have headphones, Iggy? Do you have headphones that we can... You know, uh, oh, what's going on? Uh, KG No Town, the commissioner. Oh, oh. You can use mine, Iggy. All right, uh, say, Jackson's going to bring these in. Mine, too. And KG No Town will clear up any math questions you might have, Doug. Uh, yeah. Andy, you are representing Iggy. Is that correct? You guys are saying... I am, I am. I'm taking this. I feel retainer. bad for KG right now. because this is taking... <laughs> <laughs> doing this for free. I mean, doing all the and he's having to do this. So. Jackson is uh, adjusting the headphones so Andy can hear and so okay. Iggy can hear. Doug, we welcome to the Callier and Thompson phone lines commissioner of the 2024 J. Randolph Jr. Fan Page Club Championship, ladies and gentlemen, KG in O-Town. Good morning, KG. Hey, boys. Uh, KG in O-Town, so much controversy. Number one, Iggy wants to see the hat that you drew the four names out of. Uh, you know, I didn't really draw out of a hat, if I'm being honest. Wow. Oh, Andy. no. Okay. I had unilateral <laughs> power, and I just made an executive decision. Wow. So Andy is a counselor. Mean, I mean, that's a big moment. Thing. Yeah. I mean, you don't often have a, a person who comes in admitting a lie <laughs> right off the bat before you even ask him a question. We got him, Iggy. It's not a lie. It's just a misquote of myself. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> potato, so KG, potato. KG in O-Town, what is, what is the math on this? All right, so here's how the math breaks down per Sean Barnes, the great Sean Barnes. Okay. Um, and if, if the screenshot bandit would have just taken a screenshot off the fan page and sent this to Iggy, he would understand this. But <laughs> screenshot bandit? <laughs> it's $130 per player, and it breaks down as follows. $79 green fee, cart, and a small basket of range balls. A ten dollar lunch ticket for a burger, brat, or hot dog combo, and forty one towards the purse, where the purse comes out to two thousand six hundred and twenty four dollars. That's the breakdown of the math. Like that. Okay. Can we get him a burger and a brat? What about that nice. The Not burger underway. or a brat. Mm -hmm. yeah, I like this. Well, I don't eat lunch, so you can take that off. Oh. Well, we can sell it, maybe. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> <I'm> monetizing. <laughs> That's right. And Put I it twenty one green too. And I don't have balls before I play either. So. Okay, so you can give that back too, Andy. Things yeah. are starting to happen. Okay. Is the rain? You is don't the need buddy green free. Why don't you need balls? I don't hit balls. Or the, or what do you use when you play golf? Before the match, I don't. Go oh, oh, oh! These are range balls. Okay, okay. All right, just that would have been wonderful. <laughs> Man, that would be great. <laughs> he just plays air golf. <laughs> so, KG and O Town, if if we were to chop up the four free rounds amongst the six of us, what would that leave for each one of us to pay? I don't have a calculator in front of me. I twenty six. I don't. I'm Jackson not sure says twenty six. What, it, that sounds very fair, though, and as the commissioner, I would 100% be on board with that. Huh? I don't know. He's feeling a little squirrely to me, mm. Iggy. I know he's got a calculator on his phone. <laughs> wow. No, it's, oh, Andy Crouppen showing yeah, off his counseling skills. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah I'm cool. Look, I didn't call in to be put on trial here. <laughs> hey. <laughs> oh, they told me that's exactly why you were calling <laughs> well, in. It's, a, it's 160 divided by 6. Doug, what is that? 160 oh. divided by 6. And and what happens if my client hits a hole in one? What's great the, uh, question? What happens there? I'll just pat him on the back and tell him nice job. Oh my gosh! Oh Above my the waist, right? Above, below. I I don't really his choice. You know, it, it, yeah, his choice. Okay, all right, we're getting somewhere, is Iggy. I've already had one. I don't need another one. Oh gosh, you got so <laughs> many rules. <laughs> All right, we're in. It comes to 26 there it is. Right, you're in. Are you in? Your, your attorney recommends you are in. Job, I, I said if we're only paying 20 something, I'll play because it's, right. it's not fair to just drop out. And Yeah, and it's almost free $26. Mm -hmm. I, do, I do have, you know, I, I'm fine with letting Doug and, and Plowsy enter the tournament, be grandfathered in without the official gen. But the problem is if, if both Plowsy and his opponent, Todd Reesing, don't have one. Someone without a gin is going to advance to the next round, and that puts their second-round opponent in a weird spot. So I I'm less worried about the, the payment thing and more worried about the, the handicap situation as the tournament moves forward. Sound like you're out, Paul. That's why I say in, that's, and that's if fine. somebody doesn't have yeah, one, I, I, why, not give them, why not assign everyone who doesn't have one like a 15? Because at 20, you could have some cheaters who are better than that. So at, at 15, if you're... 
Higher than a 15 handicap, you have no business winning a golf tournament anyway. And I get where KG coming from, but like, I bet you 25 of these people have seen me play golf. They know I'm a 20. Dude, I mean, like. Now, now we're getting into a whole everybody knows what I shoot kind of thing, and we've shot down that in the past. So, But mm. I, I see what you're saying, Fauzi. Hmm. And Doug, I yeah. think you might be on to something there with the 15 thing. You would you would think. I mean, if you're worse than that, and you're complaining that you're not winning golf tournaments, then that's it's kind of a thin argument. <laughs> and there are people that might be a that might be a 15 or 16 that would say, "Sure, I'll take a 20 handicap. Sure, that's right. I have no handicap at all." So if you if you make it about a 15, that might be a compromise. I can get on board with that, Doug. Wow! Mm-hmm. So that legislation wow. just got passed. Okay. okay, Iggy, how do you feel about that? The commissioner's making moves here. Well, I think other than plows, you're not having a handicap. Everybody should have a handicap to play. But what about Doug? And Doug. I'm talking about people on the show. Oh. So then Todd Reesing still needs to provide a gin or else he's out? Is that what you think, Iggy? If you don't provide it, you're a 15. That would that would be my, because it's not fair to the other people to have handicaps, and it's supposed to be, we already said like two, three years ago, you can't play without a handicap. Oh. I guess there could be some really good players who say, that's right, oh yeah, I don't have one, give me a 15. And they might be a 5. Yeah, you're running yeah. it. I don't, I don't care I what you do. Iggy, I kind of agree with you on this one. Yeah, He's I mean, offering. I mean, for Doug and, and Plowsy, I mean, people know they're not sandbagging. Like, yeah, Dude, like if you, you know, think I'm entering this to sandbag, I'll step down <laughs> right now and be just fine with a, a Saturday afternoon or Sunday to myself. Like, that, that I, I'm, I just want to play. I love the environment and it's fun, but I'm not going to go out and play five or six rounds in the next two weeks just to appease some you know, number that somebody can use. If that's the case, I'm not mad at anybody. I just, A, don't have the time and will not spend $300 to play golf in the next two weeks just to play in one event. And I hope people understand that, that, that that's not me bashing anything. Mm-hmm. It's just, I, that I just don't have the time or effort. I, I just, I'm not going to do that. Plowsy I'm planning a wedding where, I mean, every weekend it's booked up. I, I can't possibly go out and golf. I've played weekend. enough with Plows, you know, he is about a 20. Yeah, I like... Mean, I've never seen him broke. Never 90. Break, I've never broken ninety in my life. Was so, that right? Yeah, not not on like a real course. And I think Doug would be about a fifteen. I mean, Doug can go out and shoot a 86, 87. He can go out and shoot a ninety five, ninety six. Mm-hmm. So I think Doug is about a fifteen. Yeah. Well, Hawk, you right. accept that you're a fifteen, I'll, even I'll though play you're probably a, 15. a twenty. I'll All play right. a fifteen just fine. Yeah, I just want to play, man. Like, you know, Town, how does that sound to you as the commissioner, Andy Krupp, and of course you're the you're the counselor here. So yeah. If any, Anything doesn't sound right. Well, to my you, client so. seems happy yeah. here. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I, it's 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 fine with the twenty something. I think KG doing pay, God's I was going to pay seventy nine dollars to play. But. You know what? Lock it in. Ozzy and Doug officially fifteen for the Jay Randolph Jr. fan page. Nice. Wow. Thank you. Wow. By the way, right. thank you, KG, for doing this. I know I'm right now. This is probably the biggest headache of your life, and you're not getting any compensation <laughs> no, for it. So bravo. Plowsy, to, to be honest, Plowsy. Almost everyone has been great about promptly getting back to me, uh, giving me their gin. So it really has not been as much of a headache as you describe it. I, I don't mind at all. Oh, cool. Uh, and the Todd Reesing issue is the only uh, piece of business left to be tended to, then. He does not have a gin. Is that the deal? I have not been able to find one for, for Todd. I think he admitted last week on the show he didn't have one. And seeing as that he's not... He doesn't really bring anything to the show. He's not a member of the show. I'm going to need him to produce a gin, or we will be going to the list of reserves. Oh, wow. yeah, playing hardball, huh? Oh, wow, wow. I do love that we have a, a stable of reserves ready to go. <laughs> the baby. alternate list, Doug. Uh, KG, uh, wonderful work. Thank you so much, uh, Counselor. I mean, how do yeah, you... no, I, I like this guy. He's a deal maker, not a deal breaker. Wow, oh, he came gosh. here and he yeah. wanted to get something done, and I really appreciate yeah, it. It was fun to watch. And my client appreciates. Yeah. <laughs> and you got the bracket board here. You got to. I'm getting fill out. Yeah, we'll nice uh, pat on the ass out the door. The scenes a little bit. We're going to have a, a bracketology drawing reveal that we're going to try to put on uh, the YouTube channel. Mm. So uh, as soon as everybody gets locked in and uh, all the members are complete, we will be doing a drawing for oh, the remaining uh, like matchup. That. Doug, you want to come over and watch the bracket reveal? <laughs> I'm so busy. I don't know what day it is, but I can tell you how busy I am. Yeah, we know I was actually plans, expecting yeah. Doug to be a co-host of it. Yeah, I kind oh, of thought no. you would be like oh, the Vanna gosh. White of the thing. Oh, All right, uh, KG and O-Town, great work uh, commissioning That's the 2024 J. Jay Randolph Jr. Fan Page Club Championship. You have the endorsement That's of Andy right. Crouppen, too. So that uh, deal maker, not deal breaker. I yeah, like he is. What do I pay if I want to play? Oh, Andy Crouppen's now oh, getting in. You should in. get in free, too. Yeah. Your, your comp. Wow, wow, just like that. Just like that. <laughs> you on the fan page? <laughs> yeah, I, you he know, is. I just, he yeah, is. I just, just got on the fan on. page. Yep, him Troy, and, uh, him and on. are on the fan page. Yeah, yeah. big yeah, day yeah. for you. 
It is. That's when an it, active poster on the fan page, I understand. He, he was I, saying last week that he I posts I just on found there. out about yeah. it yesterday. No, he he was getting go. me in. I'm, I'm in. <laughs> yeah. When is this? Ed posts more on the fan page than the rest of the people on the show combined, I think. That's probably true. <laughs> <laughs> uh, the date is April 28th. Okay. All right. Sunday, Sunday. April 28th. Ooh. Uh-oh. I think Ed and I may be out of town then. Is that right? I'm not sure. Okay. I'll have to look. Well, you have a direct pipeline now to the commissioner. So there you, you go. Get, you know important people. <laughs> I feel honored. <laughs> uh, thank you, KG in O-Town. Thanks, boys. There he is. That's KG in O-Town on the Callier and Thompson phone John lines. KG. Doug letting us know and uh, and getting things done. I mean, that was, that was yeah. fun to watch. Like it. Yeah. Seamless, too. And yeah. Really took no time at all. We're yeah. 15s. That's, there it that's is. That's fair enough. And Todd I'm going to lose in the first round. Is, is needing a handicap or he is out, and then KG goes to the alternate list. Iggy, how do you feel about these resolutions? Fine. Okay. Sounds that's like That's pretty much what I, I said anyway. <laughs> the fact that I'm going to give Iggy getting two pops against me, I'll be out in the first round quick. But at least we got it figured out oh, to where I'm giving up. Iggy going to be getting a couple pops on you. Yeah, from a guy who shoots though. 100. Yeah, but if you meet in the championship. Oh, wow. Yeah. Wouldn't that Clash be something? of the Titans. Yeah. Yeah. We meet this, yeah, okay, I shouldn't complain. We would have to meet in the that championship would be, game. The, would you guys chop it up, or would you just put I'd that 2,600 on it? Me and Iggy no, would chop it up, for sure. <laughs> <laughs> there chop. it is. We're all about the money. We don't care about the title. <laughs> there you go. Well, is, you get to see a deal get made right here great. on TMA, Andy. Mm-hmm. Is Doug clearly acknowledged as the best golfer in the room? Oh, God, no. Tim is the best golfer. Are you? I, yeah. I play a lot, though. Do you? I, I, Doug is a natural, Doug is the best God, athlete on the show. Doug is the oldest on the show, and the longest the best athlete. I don't know. Doug struggles to walk down the hallway in a straight line these days. <laughs> Doug is not a threat to win any athletic competition. And then, Which... then I would say Jackson would be both okay. uh, the second best uh, golfer, but it will probably pass me at some point in the near future. And uh, and probably, I guess, if Doug, you're factoring age in, then I suppose Jackson's 26. I mean, he's got mm-hmm. you know he's got all of us here. L- a lot of road in front. Indeed, of him. yeah, and a full head of hair, and he's lost 25 pounds. He's a man in love. That Jackson's got everything going for him in there. Really, he just doesn't come in the studio. Yeah. There you go. Yeah. Which still maybe is also something. <laughs> That's 100 percent a win. Absolutely, huh. Jackson. Your thoughts on this? Thanks, fellas. I like it. Hmm. You gassing me up. Yeah, you like that, Doug? Gassing and him I up. didn't care for <laughs> pumping, pumping me tires. Right. 26 pounds, huh? Yeah. yeah. We didn't even know he was heavy. He was but he doughy. Saw a picture he, of himself. He was doughy. When we were in Jamaica, and it, it uh, made him think he was a little, mm. as Doug said, doughy. Mm. Mm. Vitamin O? Ozempic? But vitamin O. No. No, not the big O. Okay. Uh, just uh, moving more, eating less. There you go. That'll do it. You know, speaking of older athletes, I, I wanted to see what you all thought about uh, Tyson versus uh, Jake Paul. Are you following this? I'm Mike not Tyson? following it. Yeah. Close outside of I know they're fighting. Yeah. So, so no 57, opinion. 57 and 37? Is that, are those the Something. Ages? No, I think Jake Paul. He's 27. I think he's, yeah, I, I think he's in his 20s. Paul's younger than that. Yeah. And he's a good boxer. I think he's thought of as a better fighter than his brother. Yeah. Like a legitimate. He, he puts in the work. I would I mean, think, he's a big guy. I would think Tyson would knock him out. You're talking about one of the all-time greats. Yeah. Who still seems to be in pretty good shape. You've been following his yeah. workouts? I've been following his workouts, and he is... Fast. Yeah. yeah. Does. And he's still punching. Yeah. And doesn't it seem like... I mean, if you're looking at what he did do of Andrew Holyfield in that incident, he has the heart of a champion that I don't know that Jake Paul can just yeah. decide to have. Like, feels like Mike Tyson goes in there thinking, I'm either going to die today or I'm mm. going to beat this guy up. <laughs> yeah. Like Those are the only two options. And He's, I don't know that Jake Paul has that in I don't know that Tyson's the guy that you would want to test necessarily. <laughs> Didn't George Foreman win a fight at 50? I think yeah, so. I thought he won the heavyweight championship. Yeah. Yeah. So Tyson's only a, a few years. Those are a big seven years. But just yeah. a few years beyond a guy winning a championship. It's I not like about that. Not like he's 77. Yeah. I got so, breaking news here. Oh. Uh, and you might be interested in this, Andy. Uh, Brianna Coppage, did, did she text you, Iggy? No. Just texted me that she is in the building. Oh, no. She just sent a picture of our door. What the she heck? wants to come in. Well, ours is the type of show yeah. where friends feel they can drop in at any time. There you go. But right. she's here for Casey. Oh, I did get a text from Oh. <laughs> Not for you? Oh, that's Iggy, disappointing. How does that make you feel? Oh, my God. Stealing our guests now. <laughs> oh, now we got a problem. <laughs> well, at least. No, I think she, uh, she uh, helped them out with their Pins for Paws. Pins for Paws. It was a charity oh. event this weekend. Yeah, her and... Um, well, we'll think of it later. Forget the other girls. <laughs> yeah. Gather. Hank gathers. <laughs> no, uh, no, we went to that yesterday. Yeah. Bo Kimball, the left-handed. That's right. Yeah, left-handed free um, throw. But they came to their Pins that's for Paws. That's Paul Westhead? I think so. They had to score 140 points a game. Yeah. Um, and donated a bunch of uh, 
dog food. To so the she sharing. brought in dog food. No, she went to the event at Shrewsbury Lanes on Saturday or Sunday and brought a bunch of dog food. And and uh, I think AD said uh, she heard us call her out on the air, and here she is. So they must have said something during the broadcast oh, wow. to, to bring them out. So maybe when she's done with Casey, she can come over here and explain it to us. Be nice. Pop in. Mm -hmm. She says she's uh, going to come in after she is, uh, I guess, uh, on Casey. Yeah, good. So she will make her first on uh, cam appearance on this program. Right. I've never met her, yeah. How about that? So things are happening. Andy, things are happening. I mean, you're I know, part of it's, a... It's an exciting a... environment. <laughs> Look at this. Last week, last week, your cohort, Ed, was in with Ozzy Smith. Today, yeah. you're in with Brianna Coppage. How about that? Who's winning there? <laughs> <laughs> Do you even know who Brianna Coppage is? Uh, I, I I believe... Did we talk about her recently? She's is she the, the uh, teacher? Yes, yeah. correct. Yeah. You do. Yeah. Only yeah, yeah, fans yeah. teacher. Okay. Yeah. So bigger than Ozzy Smith. Um... I'm going to let that one go. <laughs> it depends on which particular thing you're more that, interested that's right. in. No, uh, I guess in, in certain in, in in certain demographics, absolutely. Yeah, probably yeah. would be. Yeah. 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 Uh, Andy, always, uh, you're welcome to stick around for the record. It's just 842. We haven't taken a break, and the show started at 707, so you know, I need to do that. Uh, but you're welcome to stick around, as always. And thank you so much. I mean, Iggy, you got, you got, you got great representation here today. Oh, of course I well, do. Thank you. the best in the business. Thank you. Thank you. I mean, how about that? We still have stuff to talk about. Yeah. I wanted to ask you if you've ever seen a dead body. We, but I, yeah, but I don't want to get like into that. Uh, by uh, me all of a sudden, Doug. Yeah. Are you doing show prep before you come <laughs> <on>? <laughs> yeah, I'm, always, I'm thinking about what I'm going to say. Yeah, that's a nice topic. Yeah. yeah. I feel like we could go get some miles yeah, out of we'll that. See, we'll see what we got. Yeah. Uh, we'll take a break. A we'll come later. back with our 8 o'clock hour. Send your emails in. A lot to work with today. And Brianna Coppage hasn't even been in yet. And she's going to be in here. Oh, that's true. Uh, I guess at some point in the uh, 8 or 9 o'clock hour. Or maybe Jackson will have her in on balloon party. Jackson? Works for me. <laughs> what do you have coming up on Balloon Party? Doug's curious because he likes to... Will Piddle's Tuesday Topics. <laughs> like that, that sounds like you got nothing again. No, I disagree. <laughs> so uh, we'll, we'll look ahead to the weekend, or a weekend wrap-up, or a wide Boulevard Thursday. These are the wow. kind of topics we get, which means they've got nothing. I phoned peppered you with those questions, and you were left yeah, dumbfounded. You're speechless. <laughs> yeah. uh, all right, we'll take a break. 8 o'clock hour coming up, uh, even though it's 8.43. Uh, Brianna Coppage in studio at some point here in the near future. This is TMA, and it's presented to you by Brown and Crouppen. Live from the Michelob Ultra Studios, KPN TFM HD2, Collinsville, St. Louis. This is TMA All Day. Biggie's Restaurant and Bar has been a staple of the community for over 30 years and is serving your favorites like a steak sandwich, waffle fries, and so much more. It's not just the food that's rocking. With a full bar and patio, Biggie's is the perfect spot for lunch, dinner, and a little laughter. Biggie's Original Hours are back. Open 11 a.m. till midnight, Wednesday, Thursday, and Sunday. And 11 a.m. till 1 a.m. on Friday and Saturday. Check out the full menu at Biggie'sRestaurant.com and stop in today. Hey, this is Tim McKernan, and I am here with a great TMA sponsor, and that is Longo Biggs Injury Law Firm. And you may hear a bunch of out-of-state law firms advertising here and there, all over on billboards, and so on and so forth. But the thing is, on, and that's not what you guys do. Yeah, this is C.D. Longo, and you hear us talking a lot about maximizing the value of cases, but what does that actually mean? Well... As Tim said, there's lots of personal injury lawyers in St. Louis, and everyone handles cases differently. We focus on getting the highest dollar amount for your injuries, not just getting a resolution quickly. We're constantly tracking all the settlements and verdicts in the area. This helps us advise our clients on whether a settlement offer is too low. And if the amount of compensation being offered is too low, we are happy to file lawsuits and proceed to trial to ensure our clients receive an amount that is fair. Visit our website or Google us at Longo Biggs Injury Law. The choice of a lawyer is an important decision and should not be based solely upon advertisements. Chow Chow on the Hill is your one-stop shop for all your pet supplies. As soon as you walk through their doors, you and your pet are considered family and treated with superior service and personalized attention. Jessica is the owner and is a certified pet nutritionist and impassioned about educating her clients on the product that will keep your pets happy and healthy. My favorite part about Chow Chow is its connection with All Paws Safe Haven, an organization that helps shelter animals find forever homes. To learn more about Chow Chow, visit C-I-A-O-C-H-O-W-S-T-L dot com or Stop by and tell them Plowsy sent you. 
Bet like the pros with the world's largest sports book right at your fingertips. Circus Sports is now available in Illinois. Hi, I'm Derek Stevens. I've been a lifelong sports better and I'm the owner of Circus Sports. We're excited that the Circus Sports app is now ready for action. Experience big app bets with high betting limits, tight money line splits, and more. Now you can download, fund, and bet like a pro from anywhere in Illinois. Download your new bookie today at CircusSports.com. If you or someone you know may have a problem with gambling, call 1-800-GAMBLER or text ILGAMB to 833-234. TMA listeners have a lot to think through financially. Saving for retirement and college while also paying bills and enjoying life along the way. Call Mark Hanna. Mark works with you to design a strategy to do your finances right. It's a straightforward approach that starts with a 15-minute phone call to discuss your needs. Visit evergreenstl.com or give Mark a call at 314-889-0503 today. Mark Hanna offers securities through Equitable Advisors, LLC, member FINRA, SIPC, a broker-dealer. Equitable Advisors, LLC, an SEC-registered investment advisor. Evergreen Wealth Strategies is not a registered investment advisor and is not owned or operated by Equitable Advisors or Equitable Network. John, I'm so tired of this kitchen. We haven't updated anything since we moved in. The stove looks like it's from the 90s, and the rest is... Are you even listening to me? Did you say something, honey? Yeah, yeah, no, kitchen's fine. We have cabinets. There's food in the cabinets. We're good. Guys, if this sounds a little familiar, trust me, your wife is probably right. It's time for a remodel. Collier & Thompson is the company to trust. Not just for kitchens and bathrooms, but for any interior remodeling job. Need a new man cave? Collier and Thompson. Office, Collier and Thompson. Bar, you got it, Collier and Thompson. They even do wine rooms and fireplace walls. Collier and Thompson is your go-to source for every design consideration. They carry the best cabinets, appliances, and countertops in the business. And better yet, it's all under one roof. No need to drive around to five to ten different businesses for one job. At Collier and Thompson, they do it all. Their showroom is on Manchester Road in Baldwin, right next to Uncle Bill's Pancake House. Let Collier and Thompson bring your dream remodel to reality and come home to quality. Online at CollierandThompson.com. It's the heart of March and everything's green The bar is as busy as you've ever seen Everyone's Irish and you are too When you tell them more, tell them more, tell them more do When the dry cleaner's lost your only green shirt And getting pinched by your friends is starting to hurt At this point there's nothing else you can do Except I tell them more, tell them more, tell them more do It's St. Patrick's Day, so what do you do? You tell them more, tell them more, tell them more do Hey! Tullamore Jew Irish Whiskey, imported by William Grant & Sons, Inc. The choice of a lawyer is important and shouldn't be based on an ad. If you're seriously hurt in an accident, you'll want all the money you deserve. That's called justice. But there wouldn't be lawyers if justice was easy. No, justice is not easy. It's fought for and it's won. At Brown & Crouppen, we fight for justice every day. If you want some, call 222-2222. Because at Brown & Crouppen, justice is our business. Want to take on some legends of TMA? Sound the same to someone who gives a damn about the best fans in baseball! Tired of it! The show's so great. Will there be a little speaker system out behind the dumpster? So in case you're servicing me, I'll be able to hear my name. Then nominate yourself to be this month's TMA Listener of the Month. And if you win, you'll get recognition and other stuff. Sometimes all you have to do to win the prize is be a female. All it takes one fake girl to just throw this show completely off course. Give us your name, a photo, and other pertinent information at TMASTL.com. The TMA Listener of the Month Club, quenched by Milagro Tequila. Welcome to a brighter side of tequila with Milagro. Find out more at TMASTL.com. You're hearing TMA all day on KPNT HD2. Collinsville, St. Louis. Featuring the morning after, live from 7 a.m. to 10 a.m. Then a full show replay from 10 a.m. to 1 p.m. Followed by the best of TMA from 1 p.m. to 7 p.m. And another same day replay starting at 10 p.m. Well, let's put our golf where our mouths are. Now. It's the Brown and Crouppen morning after. KPNT FM HD2. All right, here you go. Get you ready for the 2024 campaign. Heck of a year. I love this one. It got Mills Brother vibes. It does, yeah. Probably inspired. With your merit badge, your seniority merit badge, you've got me a little cool. Mm-hmm. Power flute. Yep. So good. I'm back on time, but you can't see me on YouTube. Right here. 
Uh, it's not Cherry. on YouTube, but he wants management to know he's back on time. Mm. No, not management. Just Tommy has like a little audience. The listeners who keep track of. There's a spreadsheet <laughs> that the listeners. <laughs> no, somebody want to bet I can make? Uh, I can be on time for the next month. I mean, there's a lot of people to bet. Now, a lot know. of people would take that bet. You can control it. You're, you're sitting roughly bet the audience that you're going to be back. You could get retirement money with this bet. Yeah, this could like. be this could be another opportunity here. Your representation, Andy Crouppen, still might, here. So. Might be the 8K that you need to yeah. put you over the top. Yeah. People show how much money you want to pay me to be on time that I can't be on time for a month. <laughs> I can't wait for the text. You think Tommy, people, Bethany, what up, Tommy? You think I was people, on time as well. People owe you money for showing up on time. They seem to. They, <laughs> they seem to have a lot of interest in it. They point it out every time. I'll wait for another one. It looks like you're sitting six inches off you, the you floor. You literally right look now. like a little kid right now. That's the only chair I could find. I was just going to ask, could we maybe sponsor Iggy's chair so you get him a full out chair? But then I'm like, it's kind of funny. It's a shame there isn't a camera on it. No, we only have guests in here usually when you or Ed come in, so I have to have this little chair. But... Uh, hold on a second. We got uh, we we Hughes' brother Buffett says I will take the bet as long as the money comes out of his pocket if he loses. All right, what's he betting? Which, uh, uh, Hughes' brother Buffett, call in the Callier and Thompson phone line, 636-9004-TMA. Jackson uh, doing uh, Boy, a bunch of bets are coming in. He makes it back one segment of one day because a porn star is about to come in, <laughs> and now he peacocks around like he just cured cancer. That's from Dogtown Ty. No, I knew she wasn't coming in right away. I don't know that it's it's fair to label her as a, a porn star, is it? I, I think... Doug, uh, well, she was on OnlyFans and made her money that way, being naked and having sex on camera. Well, and, and I don't know about that second part. I've not... I think it's true, and well, she has, it, yes. Yeah. Oh, uh, okay. She uh, was with... Uh, Doug, who was it, that podcast you like? No Laying Up with Adam... Adam 22. Lena, Adam 22, and is it Lena? Oh, No I Limit. Lena, Lena the Plug. Yeah, that's who For she sure. uh, engaged in coitus with. Really, she to enjoy Adam's Wait, uh, with Adam 22? Yeah. yeah really? Yeah. We're oh, about to have a do? superstar in this studio. That's right. We need to clip Andy up huh. and Lena the Plug. <laughs> <laughs> Why do we have to pay Iggy on that's top of his salary to meet the minimum requirements of his job, like being on time? Is this real? That's from the Warson Woods Wacko. Mm. Uh, Iggy? Or your, or your representation? Yeah, just, well, can, Jackson, can you keep... So I don't have the text inbox. Can you take, keep track of these people who want to bet me? Jackson, can you handle... I'm going to have to wet my beak. I can't see it. <laughs> <laughs> you like that, Andy? He's going to wet his beak. He's going to take a little vig. Yeah. <laughs> it's only fair. Yeah, that's industry standard. It'll work it? for free. Yeah, you can take a vig. If you keep track of it, Jackson, you get 25%. <laughs> 25%. Oh, gosh. Andy, I don't you want to step in on your <laughs> you well, wanna... why, why do you start there? <laughs> yeah. I'm the one that's got to come in. He's got a good deal. God. How about 10%, he's got a... Jackson? Yeah. Well, I'm, being, I'm being nice. Man said 25. We're going to give you 25%. Well, 25, Jackson might shepherd Iggy in here to make sure he gets here on time. Is this where you as an attorney that sounds like a put your hand over the microphone and then whisper to your client? No, because I like Jackson. If it's 25%, that's fine with me. Jackson, you got 25%. Five percent of, these, of this book. Square it does deal. give him an incentive to get him sure here on time. Got to spit it somehow. Ten percent. Maybe he now that it's, now that it's six and a half minutes, I can make it. I mean, those three minute breaks. I mean, the time I go to the bathroom, I'm downstairs. It's time to come back upstairs. Again. Well, don't go downstairs in. No, I need I need a smoke break. No, you don't need it. You Trash want it. Hour, you yeah. don't need it. Relax for a bit. What about just zinning? What? You, haven't you seen these Zins, the nicotine pouches? That way you don't need to stay downstairs. You just throw it in the upper deck, and I don't use these. Throw it in the upper deck. <laughs> <laughs> There's this whole world of, of Zin. It's, it's like a little pillow-shaped thing that is nicotine but not tobacco that people use. And I'm convinced that this is why, because in the schools they say vaping is down, and I'm convinced oh, right? these kids are just using Zins because ah. they're less detectable. Yeah. You know, I thought of a million-dollar maker the last Hit night me. if somebody could do this. Okay. <laughs> and there's got to be now, the Don't technology. give Jackson 25% of it before you go. <laughs> giving any of it away. Just give the idea I don't care. before. It's free money for me um, and for Jackson. But you know how... Unless it fails. See, I smoke menthols. <laughs> I smoke menthols. <laughs> okay. And I know it's the nicotine. You're addicted to nicotine. But you like you like that, uh, just the flavor, the nice, cool... If the art of smoking, Iggy, is what you yeah. like, that's what so it is. So if you can make, and, and something that you can do that with, too, is you eat a cough drop. You know, a couple of sucks on the cough drop, and uh, you like that, that feeling in your yeah. throat. If you could make a cigarette, not water vape, because water is bad for your lungs, too, um, just a cigarette where you smoke it, 
and all it comes out is the flavor of a cough drop. Okay. You don't have the smoke coming out, but... <sighs> How about a cough drop? Yeah, that was just got a cough <laughs> drop and a straw. <laughs> no, but it's the, it's the thing of having it in your hand. And yeah, straw. That was the hardest thing for me when I quit smoking for a month was... I just I went out and pretended like I was smoking. Yeah. I would just go on my smoke breaks and sit outside and smoke a fake... I put the cigarette in my mouth and not light it. Why don't you put a cough drop in your mouth? Well, you got to have the whole cigarette. Yeah, and, and, then the and then the fake cigarette. How about a candy cigarette? One of those bubblegum candy <laughs> oh, yeah. cigarettes. In Madman, John Hamm used herbal cigarettes because hmm. uh, obviously his character had to smoke a ton and he didn't smoke. So they kind of have some like that. Like the herbal it's hard. If you can get cigarettes. through three days after, I think, 72 hours, of nicotine's out of your system. I have sort of a mild cough drop addiction. I, chew, I have halls all the time, year-round. Dave Green, our former boss, uh, used to do that. When we were, I like him. We were in Webster Groves, me, Jay, and him would go out and smoke, and Dave wouldn't smoke. He'd just chew on a cough drop, and as soon as he'd walk in, he'd like, Poof, spit the cough drop out. After like a month, you look out on the side where there's all these little cough drops laying around. <laughs> oh, I'll finish the job. Mm, oh. <laughs> Not his <laughs> empty <laughs> cough drops. <laughs> no. My own. Yeah. This Lime doesn't even understand addiction. You know what else you could do to be back on time? Not smoke. That's from Arbor Day. He oh, won our texture yeah, of the year. Is that? You could plant a tree. Well, That's I an option. I think I do understand addiction. It's hard to quit smoking. That's addicted to cigarettes. Tim, can we get a copy of Iggy's most recent performance review from management? I bet the goals listed for the year are number one, talk less. Number two, be back on time from breaks. Number three, limit visits to other shows while on air. Number four, reduce criticism of the fountain repairman. That's from the Warson Woods Wacko. Have you been scolded about criticizing the fountain repairman? <laughs> uh, not too out of four, man. They were out there today. <laughs> the fountain repairman oh, was? He, somebody was out there working Did you in see the him fountain. Again? I saw him uh, Friday. He was out talking to the girl who runs the place. <laughs> and oh, uh, he was inside the fountain talking about the fountain. So I guess they're going to start working. I told him to work on it early the other day. Said, <laughs> you gave him orders. Well, I, I told him. I said, you know, with this warm weather, you could probably get a uh, head start on that fountain. <laughs> <laughs> that was his answer. <laughs> <laughs> Do you like the fountain? I love the fountain. Do you? Put that off. <laughs> I mean, there's, there's some Saturdays. I'll just come up here and make a cup of coffee and sit out in the sun. Uh, that's kind of a shallow life. <laughs> it's relaxing. It's like when I go to bed at night, I have, my, uh, I have my white noise machine with the sound of a babbling brook. But I feel like you could go so many nicer places with fountains. Mm -hmm. Not that this isn't an, an exquisite it's facility. It's three fountain. miles from my house, so it's Oh, easy. all right. All right. But isn't there a park around here? The yeah, I go to Creek Corps Park. Creek Corps Park is close. They got to have a fountain there somewhere. Where? Or a hose. Somewhere in Creek Corps Park, there's got to be a fountain. No, there's a lake, so it's just as relaxing. I just get a Starbucks, <clears> go sit on the bench and sit by the lake. Uh, really Jackson, uh, how is the book looking? You're getting 25% on this. What kind of number of wagers have we seen? So far, all I've seen is Dogtown Tie. Okay, what's he betting? His bet is $50 a month for up to four months. Wow. So pick the month duration. The money must be yours if you lose though, so you have to pay out. Uh, but duration must be set before you start and can't leave during live reads as well. Yeah. Iggy, you accept these terms or counselor? I don't, I don't Wait, know. are there any odds on this? Even money. Now I, for one, can't like guarantee six minute breaks. I can't add double, like, uh, so whatever breaks I'm given, sometimes they're four and a half, sometimes they're seven. I mean, we. Last one was about well, six you and, and a half. I work on a deal. I'll give you 5% if you just make keep playing spots so I get back in here. Piggy, <laughs> there's going to be nothing left for you. <laughs> it's illegal. <laughs> I, I, I believe that's an FCC I can't issue. put myself in that, that, that not for 50 bucks. Just yeah, I think that could cost you your job. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I mean, yeah, it would be tough to explain to management why I'm doing that. <laughs> oh, you didn't hear about Iggy Bet? <laughs> <laughs> just a few more PSAs. <laughs> There's a couple ladder, but yeah, I, I wanted to let Iggy know that like I will try my hardest to accommodate a six minute break, but it's not always a guarantee. Yeah, I mean it's it's now it's just become a bit. I mean I don't I'm not late on purpose. <laughs> There's times that I'll, I'll just kind of forget about. <laughs> yeah, I forget that we're doing it. I got a three-hour <laughs> show. That's all now. we do the whole day. That's well, all it's been going on for two years. So it's not like, ever since we have YouTube in here, it's not like people never noticed when I wasn't back. Well, Webster was a little, or the um, Kirkwood was a little different. I mean, I would sit here in the studio, walk out of the studio in the back, and where that door is is the door outside. So right. I literally walked 20 feet to smoke a cigarette and come back in. So it wasn't like I had to go up the elevator, down the elevator, wait for the elevator. A little bit different. And our breaks were like nine minutes long there. Yeah, we did. Because we just played like 
eight minutes of promos. Maybe we can talk to management about you smoking in the studio. No. How about that? <laughs> Look at this representation. Doug just fell off his chair. <laughs> <laughs> they used to do that. That used to be a very common crazy. thing. Yeah. People smoked in the workplace all the time. Oh, yeah. I mean, go and back you, and imagine. I mean, even a time when they smoked in bars and it yeah. seems so insane. But airplanes, imagine sitting in a small yeah. room. Yeah, airplanes. When, yeah. What year did that stop? Was that in the 70s? Uh, I think it was 80s? later than that. It was. Oh, yeah. oh, you could. Really? Uh, oh, yeah. I've been on. I mean, I'm 53 in international flights. I you was in smoking? college and people really? were still smoking on, on flights. My, like It was like the back few rows or uh, something like that was going right. to matter. I remember, <laughs> I think the, one of the last times, maybe a year later, they banned it. But last time I can remember is I was just got back from Bermuda. It was like, so it was 91. And me, my mom, my dad, my sister, my brother-in-law, my brother, we all went to Vegas for a weekend. And we were still smoking on the plane then. That was wow. 91. So I'm guessing 92, 93 is when they banned it. Wait, mm. domestic flight? Oh, yeah. Or from Bermuda? No, i just gotten back living okay. in Bermuda, and we went, I remember, because my last year in Bermuda was 91. So it originated we in the United States to a, so a totally domestic flight? Wow. Yeah, we went from St. Louis to Vegas. And <clears> that's amazing. When I, when I was in the bar scene in the late 70s, early 80s, you'd come home and almost have to burn your clothes. They yeah, that's so bad. so bad. No. You couldn't wear them. You... you They'd you'd sit for days in the bathroom or have mm. to laundry, have them dry clean or something. It smelled so awful. Oh, and your eyes would burn oh, sometimes. Yeah. I mean, it, it, it. And imagine in a room this size, you'd have people three of three people out of the five of us would be smoking. Yeah. It's crazy. Yeah. Ever go to like a bowling alley and look up at the ceiling tile and it's just Ooh, bright and yellow? Bill. There was a guy who Ugh. worked with us years and years ago who now has passed away, who was a heavy smoker. And you saw those, you know, the ceiling tiles like you have here, mm -hmm. and they were totally discolored. Yeah. He smoked in his office for years. It's uh, it's remarkable. Yeah, and there was Andy Kaufman who died from secondhand smoke. He said he never had a cigarette in his life, but he spent his, you know, much of his career in bars and things, well, doing shows. Uh, and he's still that, alive, that, Doug. He's coming back. <laughs> Andy Kaufman is coming back. He is coming back. I remember I went to uh, midnight Tupac. mass one year. My uncle, who never went to mass. It was over. We always had a party at Christmas Eve for relatives and my dad's friends at Charcoal House. And at midnight, we go to Mass. And we're up on the balcony because the downstairs was full. So we're in the balcony. Mass just started. My uncle lights a cigarette. <laughs> I go, what are you doing? You can't smoke in church. <laughs> You're just up in the balcony smoking a cigarette while we're all sitting there. Funniest thing I ever saw. What, what, when do you think that stopped? Because at some point, I'm assuming you probably could smoke in church. Like, was that ever? I, I don't know. I don't ever remember seeing there that. There were times you could smoke yeah. in hospitals. Yeah. yeah. I saw somebody at the Tim McGraw concert Friday. A puff of smoke went up in the section next to us. And there weren't any ushers or anything around. But about two minutes later, there was three or four security guards down there sniffing around asking, where'd that come from? Who, oh, did, right? who did it? Really? Yeah. Because it was a cigarette, not uh, you get a big, chronic? A big puff yeah. of smoke came from somebody. I don't, I don't know exactly what it was. Did I it smell, smell like it. a skunk? I, I, I don't smell very much, so I don't, I don't know what it smelled like. Probably but they, I, they had eyes on it somewhere in security, right? and they knew wow, where it was coming from. on top of it. Wow. Where was it? At the Tim McGraw Conference Enterprise Center. Enter wow, I'm mm -hmm. shocked. Cause, although you don't smell people smoking in concerts as much as you used to. No, you're not allowed to smoke in the building at all. Yeah, but I mean, people always did. Um, I guess maybe they're taking edibles now. No, they weren't paying attention yeah. to the Snoop Dogg show. Right. That's probably true. Uh, so, Andy, I got a couple of business things I need to oh, tend yeah. to. And then Brianna texted me. Is she in contact with you? I haven't checked. What? Yeah, she... Uh... Oh, she... Kind of. Well, you got it, so you can read it. Well, I didn't know if it had changed, though. No, she just said she'd come in after case she... I just don't know how long well, business be. before pleasure. Hey, man, that's my credo. Uh, I told her uh, she, if she could get in by 9.15, that'd be helpful, because otherwise uh, we wouldn't be able to have a, a long segment with her. So hopefully she can be in here within the next uh, 10 minutes. Uh, but before we do that, we will have the design air heating and cooling email today at 9.45. Jax and I have balloon party on 101 ESPN at about 10 o'clock. And today, Doug, it's Tuesday's topics. So that's going to be unbelievable. <laughs> Sounds like nothing to me. From, from 10 to 11. Hey, Green Envy has been in uh, business in St. Louis for over a decade. Green Envy only uses products that are formulated for our Missouri slash Illinois soil, weather conditions, and turf types. No national, generic, cheap, 
ineffective products at Green Envy. Doug is a client. They've treated mm-hmm. his lawn. I've already had to cut my grass twice. Is last, that right? Last week alone, I had to cut it twice. It's growing so I'm thick. I'm on uh, one cut. Uh, it is uh, amazing what they do for your lawn. And uh, the number is 636-757-1600. That's 636-757-1600. They're open 12 hours a day, Monday through Friday, and then Saturday from 9 to 1 to take your calls and answer questions. Their service professionals are commercially, commercially licensed applicators as certified by the Missouri Department of Agriculture, and this ensures you have a trained professional on your property, no part-timers or high school kids applying God knows what on your lawns. It's Green Envy, 636-757-1600. That's Green Envy. Doug and I are both clients of Green Envy. Jackson, tell people about Circa. Well, Tim, it's the world's largest sports book in Las Vegas, and now it's in Illinois. That's right. If you live here in the St. Louis, Missouri area, you just make the short drive across the river. Or if you already live in Illinois, sign up. The Circus Sports app is sports betting the way it should be with big app bets, high betting limits, tight money line splits, and the best customer service around. More term and action coming your way this weekend. I like a lot of what's coming out of the Midwest region of the tournament, Tim. I like uh, that Purdue-Gonzaga matchup and that Creighton-Tennessee matchup. I think both of those are going to be super fun to wager on. I don't know where I'm at yet, but I'll, I'll be figuring it out. And when I do, I'm going to be using the Circa Sports app, which is now available in Illinois. Visit CircaSports.com for more details and get ready to start betting like a pro. If you or someone you know may have a problem with gambling, call 1-800-GAMBLER or text ILGAMB to 833-234. There you go. And if you're feeling a little sluggish, If you haven't been feeling well-rested when you get up, if you've noticed you've been working out but you're not putting on muscle like you used to and you may be feeling bloated, have some belly fat, these can be symptoms of low testosterone. And that's where Mentality comes into play. Mentality is a local health care facility specifically dedicated to helping men feel and perform at their very best. They're online at lowtusa.com. Even if you've tried testosterone before, not everyone understands the blood chemistry in men's bodies. That's where mentality can help. The normal range for testosterone is large. If you've been to a doctor and they told you that you were normal without understanding the range or testing your free testosterone, it was not fully looked at, come get checked with mentality. Testosterone therapy helps men regain normal function and restores the ability to perform normally at all levels. Go to lowtusa.com. That's mentality, lowtusa.com, and think about it. All right, uh, Andy, it's wonderful that you're here. You're going to get to meet Brianna Coppage just like we are when she joins us coming up in the uh, Schaefer Door Company, 9 o'clock hour. We'll have the design, air, heating, and cooling email of the day. Uh, and then Jackson and I will have Balloon Party on 101 ESPN at 10 o'clock. Uh, and, Doug, there's your captain's log for today. Nice little log. Yeah, there you go. So we'll take a break. That way we'll have okay. a full segment with Brianna when she joins us. She is in the building. She's on Casey. Uh, we'll take a break, come back with the Schaefer Door Company, 9 o'clock hour here on TMA, presented to you by Brianna Crouppen. Biggie's Restaurant and Bar has been a staple of the community for over 30 years and is serving your favorites like a steak sandwich, waffle fries, and so much more. It's not just the food that's rocking. With a full bar and patio, Biggie's is the perfect spot for lunch, dinner, and a little laughter. Biggie's Original Hours are back. Open 11 a.m. till midnight, Wednesday, Thursday, and Sunday, and 11 a.m. till 1 a.m. on Friday and Saturday. Check out the full menu at Biggie'sRestaurant.com and stop in today. I get asked all the time by people, if I'm in an accident, what should I do? And while yes, you should call the police, exchange insurance information, and take pictures of the scene, all those things are important. But the most important thing you need to do is hire a personal injury lawyer. This is Doug Biggs from Longo Biggs Injury Law. And if you've been hurt by someone else's negligence, don't take on the insurance company yourself. Insurance companies have teams of people and a playbook designed to keep you running in circles so they can pay you as little money as possible for your accident claim. If you don't have a lawyer, they know you can't bring your claim to court, and they will never give you full value. We recently took an offer from an insurance company without a lawyer on the case from $12,000 to $200,000. You can't get that kind of result without an attorney on your case. Even if you don't hire us, you need to hire a personal injury attorney. Check us out online at longobigs.com. The choice of a lawyer is important and shouldn't be based on an ad. If you're seriously hurt in an accident, you'll want all the money you deserve. That's called justice. But there wouldn't be lawyers if justice was easy. No, justice is not easy. It's fought for and it's won. At Brown and Crouppen, we fight for justice every day. If you want some, call 222-2222. Because at Brown and Crouppen, justice is our business. 
Hey, this is Tim McKernan, and I am here with Seth Goldcamp of Design Air Heating and Cooling, and I have been a longtime Design Air client. What separates you guys from everybody else? It's becoming more common for companies to just get their foot in the door. They try to come up with different ways to upsell. They try to see how much they can make off of a customer as opposed to, hey, we're in there to do a service. We're going to do it well. We're going to do it for a fair price. I don't know how many emails I have received from our listeners who experienced the incredible customer service Design Air Heating and Cooling provides. It's Design Air Heating and Cooling online at designairservice.com. It's the heart of March and everything's green. The bar is as busy as you've ever seen. Everyone's Irish and you are too. When you tell them more, tell them more, tell them more, do. When the dry cleaner's lost your only green shirt and getting pinched by your friends is starting to hurt. At this point, there's nothing else you can do except I tell them more, tell them more, tell them more, do. It's St. Patrick's Day, so what do you do? You tell them more, tell them more, tell them more, do. Hey! Tell them more, do Irish whiskey imported by William Grant and Sons Inc. In business since the 50s, Collier and Thompson are known for kitchen and bathroom remodels. But they do so much more. If it's an interior remodeling job, Collier and Thompson can probably help. Basements, wine rooms, man caves, bars, accent rooms, fireplace walls, office, you name it. No need to visit five to ten showrooms when Collier and Thompson provides all your needs in their showroom on Manchester Road in Baldwin. Come home to quality with Collier and Thompson. Let them bring your dream remodel to reality. CollierandThompson.com. The Illinois Recovery Center is dedicated to providing precise and authentic care to those seeking help and treatment. Recovery, it's not just a goal, it's a transformative journey. At Illinois Recovery Center, you'll find an unwavering commitment to provide the support, guidance, and personalized care you or your loved one needs to rediscover a life filled with purpose, strength, and lasting renewal. If you or someone you know wants more information about the Illinois Recovery Center, please call 888-472-9559 or visit IllinoisRecoveryCenter.com. Chow Chow on the Hill is your one-stop shop for all your pet supplies. As soon as you walk through their doors, you and your pet are considered family and treated with superior service and personalized attention. Jessica is the owner and is a certified pet nutritionist and impassioned about educating her clients on the product that will keep your pets happy and healthy. My favorite part about Chow Chow is in connection with All Paws Safe Haven, an organization that helps shelter animals find forever homes. To learn more about Chow Chow, visit CIAOCHOWSTL.com or stop by and tell them Plowsy sent you. Want to take on some legends of TMA? Sound the same to someone who gives a damn about the best fans in baseball! Tired of it! The show so great. Will there be a little speaker system out behind the dumpster? So in case you're servicing me, I'll be able to hear my name. Then nominate yourself to be this month's TMA Listener of the Month. And if you win, you'll get recognition and other stuff. Sometimes all you have to do to win the prize is be a female. All it takes one fake girl to just throw this show completely off course. Give us your name, a photo, and other pertinent information at TMASTL.com. The TMA Listener of the Month Club, quenched by Milagro Tequila. Welcome to a brighter side of tequila with Milagro. Find out more at TMASTL.com. Temperatures are finally warming up here in St. Louis, and while that means more fun in the sun, it could also spell disaster for your lawn. Rain equals spring weeds, and now is the best time to get ahead of it. Green Envy has been here in St. Louis for more than a decade, servicing and treating lawns just like they would their very own. Crabgrass can lay dormant for years until the conditions are right. And the massive amounts of moisture we've had is sure to wake up even the oldest crabgrass seeds. Green Envy only uses products that have been formulated for Missouri soil, weather conditions, and turf types, not national generic products that are insufficient and ineffective. Let the experts at Green Envy help you choose the best treatment program for your lawn this season. Phone lines are open 12 hours a day, Monday through Friday, and Saturday 9 to 1 to take your calls and answer questions. Call Green Envy today at 636-757-1600 or visit GreenEnvyLawns.com and make your lawn the envy of the neighborhood. Hey, if you like the morning after, check out Balloon Party on 101 ESPN. HD1, by the way. It's sports talk with Tim McKernan and Action Jackson from 10 a.m. to 11 a.m. each weekday, right after the morning after. It's the worst name show in the history of radio, but the content's pretty good, so check it out on 101 ESPN or get the podcast on the TMA app. Live from the Michelob Ultra Studios, KPN TFM HD2, Collinsville, St. Louis. This is TMA All Day. I'm gay. Now. It's the Brown and Crouppen Morning After. KPN TFM HD2. Collinsville, St. Louis. 
WTMA, presented to you by... Brown and Crouppen, Timothy Michael McKernan, Douglas Selvin Vaughn, Kenneth Higgy Strode, Plowhawk, Action Jackson, Andy Crouppen is in studio, and here in the Schaefer Door Company, 9 o'clock hour, uh, Brianna Coppage is going to join us, we believe, at some point. She's in the building, but she's on KC95 right now. And right. if she can join us in time... Randy Naughton's in the building, too. Okay. Big day for guests. And Iggy Strode in the building That's on right. time. On time, two in a row. So you get money from uh, Dogtown Ty, I guess. I think I did a whole month. No. Two oh, in a row is every month's break. almost over. So. That's more impressive than the DiMaggio 56 game hitting streak. <laughs> <laughs> you hit two breaks in a row back here on time. Yeah. Well on my way. What do you got over there? Um, <clears throat> Teresa, one of our great employees here, ordered me some of the Mike socks that we ran out of. Oh. I thought they were underwear. <laughs> They're microphone prophylactics. Oh, yeah. okay. The mic sucks. And we need these, why? Well, we have a different people coming in using the mic, so you cover it up. But you're not sucking on it. No, you're not, off. Not Are you? To... <laughs> <laughs> God, they got a 9,000 packages. Jesus. Well, go ahead and unwrap it here during the show. <laughs> I'm not bothering you. <laughs> You can't see me. You pointed no. out again, pointing out that nobody can see. You're, you're sitting in a what looks like a hole. You're mostly underneath the desk. <laughs> looks like somebody living in the basement trying to peek his head up <laughs> to see if he can join the crowd. I'm sure, I could find. <laughs> Hold it up to the mic for a little ASMR. Oh yeah, that'll be hot. Here, my God Almighty! <laughs> well, there it's pressure cargo. You got to cover a mic. Mm -hmm. Did you select the color? Uh, yeah, I did. Did you? Blue. They're nice. They really pop. Okay, nice powder right, blue. That, okay, well, you wanted the attention by opening this gift, <laughs> and you got it. And then when we give it to you, you act like you're annoyed by it. I didn't I didn't bring attention to it. You did. You're sitting there opening a package and <laughs> ruffling paper and everything. It is hard to ignore. It's impossible. We, we that's, will, that's, that's, that is your representation. Yeah, we, you know? <laughs> we will yield on that point. <laughs> okay, now go ahead. Just go ahead and do it right on the live mic. There you go. Okay, boy, there that's you know. that sure is better. Problem solved. <laughs> Safety first, Doug. <laughs> Much better. Oh, Wasn't that a COVID thing? No, these have been around forever, Doug. The thing that Tim has, the ball, and you think those are new? No, that's for sibling. That's to stop the, the popping of the P's and the S's and things like that. It's not to protect your health. Well, this is just to protect from anything, any germs that are on the microphone, people spitting into it. But again, you're not no, sucking I, on it. You're not putting it in your I, mouth. I don't know how it works. I just... <laughs> <laughs> what the hell is that crinkling noise? That's from Brian Henschen, Doug. He's monitoring things mm -hmm. for the... until Doug pointed it out. <laughs> <laughs> you couldn't help but hear it. Okay, he's had enough I of us. Can't win. Had enough of us. Can't win. I try to do something nice to cover microphones when the. the well, maybe do it after the show the or during story. a commercial because break. Because there's still an hour to go in this show, so I put it on now because they're here. We'll do it in the commercial break. <laughs> we don't have another commercial break. Oh, exactly. We just had one. Oh, yeah, and I put it on. You happen to point it out when we you came back. You put it on from, during oh, the show. What's he doing over there? Huh? What's that noise? Oh, what do you got there? Oh, what are you doing? It's like a video Nobody game. Nobody can see me. I'm down here in the. But you put hole. it on during the show. We heard you opening boxes and ruffling papers like this, and then putting it on the microphone. And we're supposed to say nothing. Yeah, you're supposed to say nothing. <laughs> Leave it alone. He knows good radio. <laughs> yeah, that's great okay. representation. Yeah, listen. It was entertaining. <laughs> uh, <laughs> oh. Gosh. The lady coming in has sex for money, and you think she needs something to cover the mic. That's from Maxwell Hung. No, I did it for me. <laughs> Captain Save Strode strikes again. What a hero. That's from Brian Henschen. Captain Save Strode. <laughs> yeah, you don't know this guy. <laughs> you don't know this guy. He writes high, <laughs> he writes high school sports, and he's a big columnist. <laughs> Mm. I think that is a, a um, an homage to an E-40 song, Captain... Uh, Save a Ho, uh, oh, from 19... That? that was at 93? Mm. I don't know the years, Tim. I'm going to go 93. Mm. I'm going to go 93 because it's going to get me 94. It's uh, a great Jackson? video. Have you ever he, seen he, that he, video? He's dressed up in a cape. Yeah. Yeah. Well, you'll find out Tim will be right again on these 
dates. Yeah, it's, it's like the only play. skill I have is, uh, is 1993. <laughs> <laughs> Do you really, are you like that? Like yeah. you, my wife is like that. No, is that right? get, really? She knows what year. Anything. But it's but it's got to be eighty two because what I do is I picture where I was and when I heard it or saw it and that's how I affiliate it with. Huh. It. There's a little formula I suppose. But if it's before eighty two, I wasn't around. So or I was I was five, so I don't remember anything. So, huh. Interesting. Yeah, it's yeah, a weird. Have deal. you seen any of those people who know exactly what they did every day of their Crazy. life? Well, that lady, she was Mary Hunter. Hunter. There yeah. you go. That's the one. They I can remember own, uh, everything that happened all through their life every I, day. I it's wild. The web. And I asked her, I said, I had you Let's on get last back year, you. remember? <laughs> well, I'm just saying what, what you... Okay, <laughs> go ahead. When I said, do you remember what we talked about last time? And she remembered everything we talked about. Is that about right, really? Time. Yeah. Holy crap. I remember she was on uh, the Stern Show, and she was saying... They, they were asking her about this memory thing, mm -hmm. and she was like, yeah, in like September 14th, 1993, we were on, and they're like, you're wrong. It's not in the logs. And, and she's like, please... And go double check. And like they go back and the logs were wrong. She remembered wow. like from 20 years ago what day, what they talked about. Really? It, I, you know, I think there was a kid, uh, maybe you'll know this, Mr. Ledoux. Wasn't there a kid <laughs> about 10 years ago from Ledoux who had that same thing? I would have been there. Yeah, at that's the your time. time. Yeah. And I don't remember. I don't think that that was the case. I could huh. be wrong. If that's what's possible with the human brain, what's wrong with the rest of us? Why, right. Why can't we remember anything? You can ask Tim what he had for dinner in 2015. He'll tell you. Yeah, but I have that in a spreadsheet, Andy. I mean, I'm 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 messed up. I want to make that clear. Wait, 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 wait. Oh yeah, <laughs> yeah. You want to yeah, let's let's dig into this. Let me. You let's, have let's a spreadsheet of going back to like the aughts of what I weighed, what I slept, what I ate. Absolutely, it's insane. I'm not telling you I enjoy this or it's healthy. I'm telling you I am effed in the head. But is this because like some wellness protocol? In part, the, the 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 root of it, the root of like all of this, is I was told in 2012 was like a misdiagnosis, but that that probably is overstating it, uh, of having lymphoma, and oh. so it was kind of like a shock to the system. Yeah. Because all I had was a cough. My wife and I were going to be celebrating our first anniversary. And uh, and I thought I just it's one of those things. I'll just give me a Z pack and I'll be fine. And then they said oh, we need you to come in for I think it was a CT scan. And I'm like, oh, okay, it's a little more aggressive than getting my Z pack at Walgreens, right. but fine. And then I go get it, and she goes, yeah, we just want to make sure you know we got to check for lymphoma. And it's, it's just like I go from having a cough to lymphoma. And then my doctor, who was not he, you know he was he was a, a higher up at, at the hospital, so he wasn't you know, like a buddy, like checking it out and saying, Hey, I think, you know, I'm just in my residency. He goes, he called me and said, you know, you have uh, lymphoma. And then he started going into the survival rates and it was 85% for what he thought I had. Um, and then I go in and I get a process and I can see the scar here. It's called the, where they go in and they get tissue. So I went under, it's called the mediastinoscopy. And when they took tissue out, uh, I did not have cancer. So for a week I thought I had cancer and uh, then it turns out that I did not, so it was an incredible, I mean, holy crap. How do they make this mistake? Well, as it turns out, I mean, none of us, uh, you know, on you know, in our family were doctors, so we didn't know, but you can't diagnose without tissue. But the, the but it was when they looked on the CT scan, as it, and other, other doctors said this too, they actually met at the hospital and said, well, this is textbook lymphoma. I mean, it is really? textbook lymphoma, but it was just a bunch of inflammation. And they diagnosed me with something called sarcoidosis. But usually sarcoidosis is something more prominent in non-white males. Huh. So it's like, I think sarcoidosis may have killed Bernie Mac. Really? Uh, so it's, 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 I think it's an autoimmune disease. Either way, I haven't dealt with anything since that happened in 2012. Point being why I, it's like my doctor now, he, he, I don't think he's joking, he's being serious. He goes, I treat you like somebody with PTSD. And he goes, because that happened, now you just automatically, anytime you're sick, you think you have cancer. So yeah. that's kind of the way it works. So I'm all left up. There's your answer. Hmm. Long answer. Well, but we never got to why you track your weight and, and it's Because it's eat. like I'm hyper-conscious of health ever since uh -huh. the, the health scare. Wow. Yeah. It's almost track like a form of, of OCD. Uh, yeah, it is. Mm -hmm. It is. Do you yeah. share on the fan page, like, your spreadsheet of what you... I mean, I'm, if you're If you're interested, I'll call, I can call it up for you right now. I would think people would actually love to fuck. I think they actually hey, would Did you see too, what Tim ate for dinner last night? <laughs> yeah. I'll make the same thing. That's yeah. right. Yeah. People just won on a one-day delay. Yeah. 
track my way, track my sleep. Uh, a whoop band. This track's all yeah. sleep. I love this. This actually a, is super helpful. What do you? What do you? Is that a ring? Yeah. An so does that track ring. health stuff? Oh, you've never seen these? It's I didn't an know aura about ring. It. It's the it's so the same thing. So what does it do? I don't even know what it does. So it's, it's the same thing same, as like a whoop. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Or uh, what Apple you, Watch? I guess does the same stuff, right? Uh, I I don't know. I don't have an Apple Watch, right. but you know, it gives you a sleep score, readiness right. score, um, your oxygenation level in your blood, and it's I don't know. It's kind of interesting. Oh, it's it, it is amazing. The REM sleep and deep sleep thing to me, and now I know what you do that then leads to a bad night's sleep. I mean, obviously booze or if you're effing around with drugs. But I'm talking about like eating, eating certain yeah. things, and then how, and then what time you eat, and then once you're aware of that, you know, I'm 47 now, and I'm like, God, I wish I would have known this stuff in my 20s, and what it, you kind of become more astute going forward in your workday because now I can get up at five and be totally fine because I got a proper amount of REM sleep and deep sleep, and I wouldn't have known it without all of this stuff here. And I know some people go, oh, I'm not interested in knowing it, but I find it to be helpful. So Tracking you- it though is insane, and I will be the first one to say it because I'm the one who's insane. No, I think a lot of people, well, tracking everything you eat in a spreadsheet, I'll, I'll give OCD you that. OCD insanity. insanity. <laughs> yeah. The, but I don't think the, I know a lot of people with the Oura Ring or Whoop, mm-hmm. I think those are, it, it, I don't know, it's a valuable tool. Yeah. Are you like really hyper-focused on health? Like, I am. I used, well, to, I, used to, out, I used to wear, I have a, a slap tear in my shoulder, labrum tear, so now I don't lift. Mm-hmm. But I, I can see how many calories I burn every day, and it's right. healthy. And it's kind of once you know the math, and the math is pretty easy, how many calories do you take in versus how many you give out, you know, it's it's tough to put on weight unless you're just going, oh, I don't really care. Yeah. You know what I mean? But, it, but people also don't necessarily know the math. And, and everybody's... TDE is different. I mean, I would imagine the Plowhawks has to be God Almighty for all you eat and the fact that you don't gain weight. Like mine, I think, is around 1,800 calories. I'm probably you, in the 36. To I, I mean, for real, it's guy, which is insane. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Well, look, he weighs a buck. What do you weigh? A buck 19? Is that yeah, what we did? 120, I think. 117. With the one, so right, it's just, an, it's just yeah. insane. So, what his resting metabolism is, is got to be one of the highest. Mm hmm. How does that work? Because I always read that your when they talk about high metabolism, low slow metab- metabolism, whatever it is, that that the variation was really only like somebody with a big metabolism is like a hundred calories more than somebody with the slow. That must be wrong. I well, a lot of it has to do with age. So the metab- metab- metabolic rate is going to decline with age, and then yeah. some people are just born with it. And then, of course, if you work out, a certain kind of workout will increase your resting, um, you know, metabolic rate. But so, do you really but eat... But Plowhawk doesn't... Oh, Plowhawk, he takes in more calories than I do in a day, probably, while we do the show. Yeah. But do you? Because I, I feel like people... Oh, I've, does, I've seen we people see like you say... But, he, but no, what they do, like they'll the, eat like a bite or two of no. a Big Mac. No, you'll, no you're, you're no, taking the whole thing. It goes yeah. on throughout the show. I mean, he's yeah. drinking a... He's probably taking in 250 calories right there. Yeah. 240 calories in that root beer. But I also, you know, luckily for myself, I... I keep busy. I have three dogs. I take. I probably walk three miles a day. So it's that, nothing. That, it's nothing. But to me, that feels like that. Like gets me motivated to eat again. <laughs> <laughs> so it feel like for me in my head, I feel like that's enough exercise. It, and which it isn't. Something missing. Is it just a straight pipe from your mouth down? It just comes right out. It's probably a tapeworm. Probably like a six foot tapeworm. But your that. parents are slender too, aren't they? Oh yeah. My like I said, my grandma Irma. Love her ass, man. She's like four or five and like eighty pounds. My sister's like less than a hundred pounds. Oh, is so that right? Like, Your yeah, sister's got a are, my slight build. Are like, yeah, really? my uncles oh, really? are like one hundred and thirty, one hundred and forty. This is on both mm-hmm. sides of the family, or just one side of the family? Both sides. Both yep. sides, really? Wow. Genetics, man. Yeah. Crazy. I was having this conversation with a friend the other day. Like you, you know, you. I'm sure you've known people who like all four grandparents lived into their nineties. Yeah. You can do whatever the hell you want. No, no. You can't beat that. It's it's, no. it, it, it's the truth. It's Just the don't same get hit thing. by a It's bus. the same thing mm-hmm. with, with sports, you know. It's the same yeah. thing with sports. It's the fast twitch muscles, and it's insane to see at a young age already. Uh, if Brianna doesn't make it in for TME, I think we need to see the return of Pepper and Jeannie and have her on for a nice sit-down interview. How, about, oh, how do you boys feel nice. about that? I thought nice. they were going to say I have to take my clothes off. <laughs> 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 Are you willing to do that? Option. You know what? I, I kind of feel like if somebody wants to see me naked, they're welcome to. I, really? I'm not modest. <laughs> I don't care. <laughs> We've uh, never had any nudity on the show I yet. don't think we have. Mm-mm. Really? I don't think so. Iggy, have we so. had any nudity in the mm-hmm. history of the program? Uh, we even had, we had Seiko he's, on he's here. He's got no day. pants on now, so yes. <laughs> yeah, my pants are off. Cut that off. Um, I don't think so. I know. I know. We did back in the day when we used to have 
porn stars who would come into feature. Um, I remember distinctly in Webster Groves when Rich Gould, I was producing his show. Oh, so we're not on TMA, though? No, I don't think okay. so. I don't think, unless Seika showed her boobs, I don't think she did. I don't but, believe so. I I yeah, we that. had um, Terry Weigel in the studio. And uh, by the way, Andy Iggy has slept with Terry Weigel. Is that right? Yeah, I did. Um, and her about, husband Merle wanted to what film What number it. was she at the 500? He filmed, Good question. He, he yeah. filmed it naked for some mm -hmm. reason. Late period. Um, <laughs> but we had... Look at, look at Andy taking in his client's <laughs> anecdote. Yeah. Rich Gould was uh, commenting on her breasts, and she goes, oh, you want to see him? And she pulled her shirt up, and he goes, those are nice. And there was also a dentist office in our building, and a lady with the three kids walked by when she's got her top up. Oh, no. And Greg Marisek went a little ballistic. <laughs> so we had to stop with the nudity. No windows in here, Iggy. <laughs> well, we have YouTube, so we can't. Oh, that's no, I can turn that off right now. <laughs> <laughs> well, Brianna wants to get topless. We'll turn to YouTube off. I just hope she comes on. I just texted her and said, just walk in when you're done over there. There you go. Mm. All right, we'll do a little business, and then hopefully she'll join us. They'll have the design, air, heating, and cooling email today. Jackson and I have to leave at 10 o'clock, Andy, but if you and, and Doug and Plowlock mm. and Iggy and Brianna want to do a program, there you go. Where do yeah. we have to be? <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> uh, Premier Construction Exteriors. They do roofing, siding, windows, concrete, and more. It's veteran-owned and operated, a hands-on contractor. They don't subcontract all their work out to smaller companies and just tack on their profit on the end price. They can work with your insurance company on the claims for storm damage to your roofing, siding, or windows. They're building their brand, small operation that wants the best and honest solution to revitalizing your home. They're located in St. Peter's, Missouri, but licensed in both Missouri and Illinois. It's Dan or Jay at 314-224-2543 is who you want to ask for. 314-224-2543 and a $500 discount for TMA listeners when you call. They're on Facebook at Premier Construction Exteriors and let them know you're a TMA listener for a $500 discount. 314-224-2543. Doug, tell us about the sponsor of our phone lines, Callion Town. Yeah, they'll take care of the interior of your home. There you go. Whatever you might need uh, redone, whether that's a kitchen or a bathroom or anywhere else in your house, really. They do basements and wine rooms and man caves and bars and accent rooms and fireplace walls and offices. I don't know if they do radio studios. We don't really need it here, but if Collier and Thompson were to come in, they do a quality job here just as they do everywhere else. You know what else they do a lot of, and that's removing walls to open up the first floor of people's homes. That's going on a lot now. People want that open open lifestyle on the, on the first floor. Collier and Thompson can come in with their engineers and decide which uh, wall needs to come down, which can come down, and they can redo your house. A lot of times when you... Have a, a home remodel, you're only going to do that one time, maybe, so why not do it right? And Collier and Thompson are the place that can do it right. They have that commitment to quality. These are high-end people, been around a long time. Carolyn Beard and Bob Strati have been the owners there for a number of years. The business has been around since the 1950s, and they do it right. Collier and Thompson is who you call when you want it done in a first-class way. They have that commitment to quality, service and quality is their number one priority. That's Collier and Thompson on Manchester and Baldwin, right there next to Uncle Bill's Pancake House. Collier and Thompson, come home to quality online at collierandthompson.com. 2060 Digital, a Hubbard company for your fast-paced world of digital marketing, making meaningful connections with your audience, challenging for any business. Uh, well, that's where 2060 Digital comes in, a sister company backed by a 100-year-old media empire. Uh, it is Hubbard and 2060 Digital. 12 years of expertise specializing in simplifying the complexities of digital marketing and demystifying the process, transforming from a challenging uh, task into an opportunity for your business. Think your business has room to grow? Let 2060 Digital prove it to you. Visit 1057thepoint.com slash 2060digital. Take the first steps towards unlocking your business's digital potential with 2060 Digital. There you go. 934. We're on the clock, Doug. I mean, okay. we're on the clock. All right. Uh, Jackson, uh, I've gotten a suggestion. I think it's from your opponent, Mr. Siders, to do the design air heating and cooling email today. Now, what do you think about that? Oh, that works. Do you have um, enough time to get into the filtered file? Andy, you're going to get to hear the email today. Give Exciting. me one yeah. moment. Okay. And, uh, Jackson filters through them to make sure they're, yeah, they're appropriate vile. or Brilliant. not vile or incredibly malicious. He doesn't do a real good job of it. You don't think so? Well, no. Brian Hoffman. He's got no filter, that yeah, guy. Andy, right. do you email in a lot and rip us? I don't. Would yeah, you like to? Not once. <laughs> I could. I got a feeling she's just going to stay over there till the end of their show. No, are they on until <laughs> ten? Oh, no. oh my God, Iggy, this is a bad beat. So yeah, she I drove in from Sullivan. I can't go over there and tell her, "Hey, come over with us." No, says who? They're the ones that asked her on. So I think oh. it could be one of because the, they only have two in there now. Um, 
So I got a feeling they may just keep her as like a co-host for the rest of the show. Uh, Who's your daddy says the people want Pepper and Jeannie. Give us what we deserve. Why don't you do an interview with her after 10 o'clock and yeah. we'll run part of it tomorrow? Absolutely. That'd be great. That would require some work. <laughs> just a little bit. Me and Plowsy aren't jumping up. Could we put some sort of My foul own? smell into their studio <laughs> to encourage her to leave? No, it's there. I wouldn't go over there and say, hey, can we get her on? That's their show, so. Yeah. And they asked her on. We didn't. We're just grabbing her like we have with... Well, I saw this guy on TikTok, and what he did, he had this, like, plastic thing that went under a door, and, and he broke wind into it, and then oh. got a leaf blower. Oh. Put it Is that right? Yeah. Does that work? I don't know. We can try it. Let's see if she's in here. <laughs> Nothing funnier than farts, though. Okay. Huh. I, I think the idea of doing something at 10.05 would, would work just really, really well, nice. We could cuss on that, too. There you go. No, you don't have to we cuss. We got to. We want to play it. Graphic with our OnlyFans stuff. We want to play it on this show, so don't well, cuss. And just bleep stuff out. Well, just see if you can go without hey, cussing don't tell for me a few. What to do. <laughs> <laughs> Andy, okay. I mean, this is your client here. What would you recommend? You know, I, I don't have a problem with cursing. I listen to a lot of rap music, and <laughs> so I, I, I heard your mm -hmm. disdain for cursing in music. It's dumbing down America. <laughs> Oh, I think we got bigger problems than that, but that's been that's going on problem. for fifty years easily. We haven't had we haven't had curse words on our music for oh, fifty sure years. We have. Who? Well, hip hop just celebrated its fiftieth anniversary. Yeah, that's surprising that, to that, me, that's but a, it is. Still it doesn't make it a good thing that people are. No, cursing I'm just giving a, a marker of time. I'm saying if, if we can't play the lyrics on this show, it ought to tell you there's something wrong with it. I think there is something wrong with how we view language, certainly. I mean, what they're just words. I mean, with few exceptions, what's the difference? I mean, we talk about the concepts and, and say things here that are much worse than just the S word. You know what I mean? It, it, we pick and choose our, our... I guess, but is there no standards at all anymore with our language? No. Is there, is there no? Is it is it bad just to have class? Just because some people are offended, deeply offended by it. But but again, it's it's one individual word that has very little meaning. You know, you can say poop, and how is that any different than the S word? Yet you can talk about some concepts using quote unquote acceptable language that is far less you know socially acceptable. It's just, there are, what, how many words can you not say? A handful? It's, well, it's a famous George Carlin, yeah. seven dirty mm -hmm. words. Is that really it? There's just seven I mean, you can't it's say? it's never really been specific. Right. Uh, and then you have some, like, uh, we may have talked about this before, maybe it was when Ed was in, I'm not sure, but you can say ass, but then if you attach right. whole to it, then it becomes profane, which is amazing. Right. Uh, you can say damn, but you can't attach God to it. Right. Um, you can say the word dick if you're saying it, I suppose, in like a... Talking I mean, about uh, Mr. Cheney. For example, mm -hmm. former vice president, yeah. sure. But, I mean, at this point, like I was watching The Daily Show last night, and Jon Stewart, you know, used the S word in his opening monologue, so I think it's just kind of depending on hours and certain yeah. shows. It's, uh, the F word is still the crown jewel. Uh, yeah. C word, certainly very powerful. You yeah. know, those, but uh, I, I feel like it's still loosening relative to what it was 25 years ago, I suppose. Oh, for sure. But yeah. that's what's silly about it. Like, because you're just saying these things, and if you have two words in between them, okay, no problem. Mm -hmm. But you can describe using acceptable language really almost anything. Any, any profane act or it's just silly. I agree with you 100%. Yeah. But it's just one of those things. I've been doing this somehow yeah. for as long as we've been doing it. And then if I do my podcast, I'll immediately start talking how I really talk. And it's not that I use profanity all the time. I just, I don't filter myself. Right. But then when the mics come on here or on 101, I somehow don't use it. And I have no idea how. You know? I think your brain's... I guess so. It's got to be a subconscious thing. Yeah, it's a subconscious mm -hmm. thing. I curse a fair amount in my free time. Yeah. What about in court? Is that frowned upon? I, you know, I, 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 I don't think it's well appreciated <laughs> in court. Um, well, why not? It's just a word. I agree with you, but I don't make the rules. Yeah, yeah same thing with me with the FCC. <clears throat> I mean, I think it's dumb, but yeah. whatever, and I think it'll be gone soon. I just think we, we need to maintain some standards in the way we speak to each other. And we shouldn't glorify vulgar, gutter language. And we do that with a lot of rap music. I, I think we could, we could be better than that. 
I agree no one's injured because you say a word, but I think we could be better than that. We could have a little more class than that in the way we talk, yeah, talk to each other. Isn't that just sort of putting perfume on a pig, though? You well, know, I mean, you want to dress nicely. You don't have to do that. You could come here in ripped underwear. Who's, mm. who's it going to hurt? You haven't seen my underwear. Well, it's, some of it's ripped. <laughs> oh, God, it is. <laughs> uh, I got breaking news in the YouTube chat. Uh-oh. Uh, Brianna is sticking around to play a game after a Zeppelin song, FFS. Oh. So it's not going to happen, according to Walrus wow. King. Well, Any chance of Pepper and Jeannie uh, interviewing her? Just Iggy? a little 10, 15 minutes. Find out how, you, how she's doing. What's next? I mean, I don't care. It's up to Plaza. He's the one that's got to run the board. You don't really want to. But... Okay. <laughs> it's out. Oh, it's my out. gosh. Well, I don't either, but I'll do it. Then we didn't want the interview that bad, really. <laughs> I just don't know how it would play on Balloon Party. Otherwise, I'd do it on 101. I think I they're probably think pretty upset, uh, Doug, about mm -hmm. the 11-7 lineup last night and Jordan Walker and yeah. Dylan Carlson and Victor oh, Scott. Yeah. Yeah. This would be the funniest thing we could ever do. Oh, it would be the greatest. Oh, Jackson. If I wanted to officially kamikaze that thing. <laughs> <laughs> I if we opened it up it. after the blues season, <laughs> crumbled. I want to make sure we're taping oh it God. and not on the air, because I really don't want to get fired for cussing. Well, well if you're doing pepper you won't be on the air. Yeah, 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 yeah. Pepper, Who's you're forcing you to cuss? Air for P and G. Uh, that, so that's not... Sure knobs are turned to the right. No. Make okay. sure the you can't, you have such little discipline, you can't keep from cursing? Well, Iggy, I promise I take it off a of bypass immediately when I'm off the show. I'm talking to a girl who has sex on OnlyFans, so if I can get a little more graphic, I will. <laughs> but, uh, <laughs> but that's, on, that's on you and a lack of self-discipline. I actually like so the I'm honesty what there. you want. I don't care. I'm not calling you anything. I'm saying that's all it requires to not curse. It's just a touch of self-discipline. All right, Karen. What about the guy's got called Karen? Karen. Oh, 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 got called Karen. Oh, 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 oh. Wow. Burn. <laughs> you can't just record it on an iPhone mic. That's pretty good quality, you know? Here, like we did with Pepper and Jeannie, that show that <laughs> just blew up for like nine months and we went away. Uh, would she hang around for QFTA, maybe, if P and G, and then he uses profanity, so I just added it on the fly. So you see it right here. So I'm not sure if I can use that word, five-letter word for cat or kitten. Ooh. I think I don't. Th I saw. I just err on the side of caution. You can. P and G don't do it for. Well, there's of a band out of. There's a band out of Russia. You can use the word in that. I don't know. I just err on the side of caution. Yeah, you're yeah. talking about a band out of Russia, and their first name of the band is P. So I don't know if she would still be here at eleven o'clock. If so, I would love to interview her. Big time, would love to interview her. I'm really curious about what the hell's going on with her. You know, I'm not like, hey, tell me about you know what it was like to hook up with Lena. You know, I'm I'm like. Like we were talking about off air, like, like what's going on with your situation? Yeah, you know, I'm I'm really curious. I'm legitimately curious. And we talked the other day. She just she just wants to work. She hates just doing nothing. I mean, she's got her OnlyFans, but she wants to do more. But then it's like she's promoting the OnlyFans, but saying she doesn't want to be known as an adult star and wants to do other things. I just I just don't. I'm trying to understand them. Yeah, well, I told her. I said, don't don't even think that way because it's not going to happen. What do you mean? Well, because you now. Are going to be known for that forever, right? That's not going to go away. So I don't know. I just want to have a. Conversation. Has she not fully accepted? Do you think that this is an acceptable profession for her? I do. You think she still has some hesitation? So I, I it's it's weird to say because then I'd be the, the, the person who listens to the show and maybe able to call. It. She made a ridiculous amount of money right. whenever this. Came, I mean, you know, seven plus figures. Right. Um, but it's not my place to go into the details of it. Uh, but either way. And then she met with some people in uh, L.A. about becoming even more prominent by signing with a certain company that, you know, has like the top starlets in that industry. And then she says she decided not to do it. But then she did go on with a podcast that a lot of people are familiar with, even if you're not familiar with pornography. And that's that Adam 22. No, yeah, no jumper. No jumper. And, uh, and, and so I'm like, okay, once you did that, well, clearly you're, you're all in now, which is, hey, God bless. But then I think she's had second thoughts, and now they're not going to do that. So she just wants to keep doing the OnlyFans thing, all while having some other stuff to do, just because she's, you know. So I don't know. That's I mean, why. That's why I want to like... figure. Out, that's why if she wants to talk about it, maybe she don't want to talk about it. Hell, I don't know. But I, that's just my. That's why I love doing interviews. I'm just super curious about. That's this kind exactly of stuff. right. She's lived a very interesting life. The last five months, and, and, and I think she, when she was on with us like two weeks ago, Iggy, was it like two weeks ago? I think she was like in the midst. She had just been put on leave, and then eventually, I think, terminated from her latest job. And she was really down about it. We caught her at a time when she was, like, really down. So It'd be an interesting movie. Of her, of yeah, man, you're right, 100%. Yeah. For sure. Well, I guess it's a hard transition to make when you your your whole identity is 
being a teacher or being this job. And while you're doing this on the side, you're just thinking of this as a side gig. You're making a little extra money. And now your world is turned upside down. And now all of that, your nine to five is gone. And now your side gig becomes not just your main source of income, but kind of your whole personality publicly in some ways. That, that's got to be an interesting Transition and, and the other thing that's a variable, and obviously she don't want to talk about it. I get it, but I know that, that she has at least one child. So you get, I mean, that's a whole that that brings in a yeah. significant element to yeah, the yeah, whole yeah. thing. Uh, all right, I guess we're going to do the design, air, heating, and cooling email of the day, and maybe she'll be able to come in if she wants to stick around for uh, for uh, doing a QFTA at eleven o'clock when I'm done with balloon party. Then uh, I certainly would would love to do that. Uh, we'll see how it all plays out. Either way, here we go. Uh, Andy, you want to get to hear uh, the design here? Yeah. Jackson, is this it? Three in the filtered file? That's right. Wow. There's only These are the three emails that were sent in today. How about that? Nobody Why thought today be, was a... Nobody can be pop-up. They know that. And Young, the Boilermakers won Sunday, Doug. Good I work. was there for when they beat... Utah State in the round of 32. Now it's on to Detroit and a Sweet 16 game against Bark Few and Gonzaga. They'll have to hit their free flows, but with Maddie Moscatrolli Painter and <laughs> Zachary Eady, the maple log inside, the Boilermakers will be hard to beat. Hand motions intensify. Thanks, your great Mr. Tim. That's from number one okay. Asian intern Brian Engine. It's times like these. I wish I had an Italian last name instead of a German one. Brian. Henshin. Another one just went into the filtered file. Let's put the wingspan talk to rest because Tim plays big every damn day. Moving my ball out of a divot is not improving my lie, which is, in fact, the textbook definition of improving your lie. <laughs> and I might have flunked out of community college university. Is that what they call it? Commun community college university? Yeah, that's what we call it at Merrimack. <laughs> but I don't see I've been an El Chapo for 60 years and never paid for golf. I'm going to read it again. See Jesus. if you get something. <laughs> We're the idiots. Kevin Miller, I'm sure. But I don't see I've been an El Chapo for 60 years and never paid for golf. Working is a legal precedence, period. But that, this email... It's not well written. <laughs> <laughs> but this email is about the first time I witnessed anal penetration. Oh. <laughs> Andy, this gets back to what you were talking yeah. about. Yeah. <laughs> no problem. How many firsts do you have? This is the third one this week, or third one in the last four days, about the first time I saw anal. <laughs> My buddy Pedro's dad had been having a rough time. His wife had been sleeping with three mm. of the neighbors, and he was more than a little bit upset. Like a moth to a flame, my buddy Butchie was eager to strike. <laughs> He's vulnerable. Now's the time. Mr. Martinez had had one too many cervezas and had passed out. All of a sudden, Butchie pulled down the man's pants and yelled, Here comes Frosty. Oh, With yeah. that, he grabbed a frozen <laughs> bottle of Aquafina and started to give him a vicious plunger action. No. And many a curse words were exchanged. That's from Seymour, and then the middle name is Dixon, and Doug, the last name is Line. But he didn't curse Doug Dixon Lene. But he didn't curse. curse it. I wish he hadn't. <laughs> Do you oh. like when my tongue I swirls around the part okay, of your head? Okay, that's <laughs> enough. What's up? No, yeah, this may be the best one. Hold on, you don't know where it was swirling around yet. You interrupted. Right. Where was it swirling, Tim? Could no have problem. been a lollipop. In, a, in van, two, one. Do you like when my tongue swirls around the part of your inner thigh that gets mm. chafed after waddling around Six Flags for a few hours? Oh, that's plenty. <laughs> oh. Do you plan on excreting your turkey legs in the Highland Fling bathroom? Oh. I could tell he was struggling as I entered the latrine. He had both of his arms pressed against the wall for leverage. Oh. And he was nearly giving himself an aneurysm trying to force out the dry brined gabagool. Okay, that's enough! No, it's not. I want to hear the end. Who was it, Tim? Doug Chandler Hill, investigative journalist. Oh. Doug Chandler Hill has been suspended for his language. He's been suspended a period of two days' time. And his name, as we speak, oh. is going into the Illinois Recovery Center suspension <laughs> logule. He may need recovery indeed, and he can get it at the IllinoisRecoveryCenter.com. Two it, days' time. Would it be cute if I kissed him between the hips in that erogenous brown oh. valley that lay between his wrinkled satchel and his starfish-shaped waist? We didn't talk about any of this stuff today. It, it makes me think. It makes me secrete lust directly into my depends. Oh! That's from Doty's grip pressure. Ah! Oh... Uh. 
Andy, you're getting a taste of the design air, heating and cooling it's email horrible. today. This is great. <laughs> it isn't great. Oh, these people are beautifully creative writers. Uh, <clears throat> and they don't curse. <laughs> I would think you'd love this stuff. <laughs> it's awful. And this is the last one, although it seems like more are coming in as we go, Jackson. I don't know what's going on back there. Is that correct or? Yeah. <laughs> he doesn't. He, he says a hesitation. Well, Buck Swope doesn't usually come in at about 9.55. Well, that's true. Yeah. Why should I get a free round of golf, you ask? Well, for starters, I haven't paid for golf since the beginning of Bill Clinton's first term. I played for free at Sawgrass, birdied 17, no big deal. Plus all this free pub I've given one of the nicest golf courses in the area that is constantly booked full and doesn't need me pimping it out on my cooking show for three people on Facebook, plus the guy that wrote an IA program to send me a screenshot automatically anytime my name is mentioned on the fan page. F the guy doing all the legwork to make this tournament happen. F the guy who has made sure this show has stayed afloat for 20 years, ensuring I have a roof over my head and a pot roast to eat and put on Instagram in a progression-style set of posts. F my 25-year-old boss who does the job of three men every day and makes sure my time card is accurate. Me, 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 I shouldn't have to pay. Now, if you'll excuse me, I'm going to see if I can parlay some other bare minimum tasks like not pissing on the toilet seat or floor, washing my hands after I touch my uncut gem, no. <laughs> and leaving a cloud of Salem smoke out by the fountain instead of dragging it into the studio with showing up on time after breaks to make a couple extra bucks. Save me a spot in the Fan Page Club Championship. Heading to Grassy's after the show, I'll take a meatball sub on the house, a free gin, and a cop round of golf, please. Oh, and by the way, where's your bathroom? I've got a half a dozen empty Gatorade bottles from the 90s I need to fill up with tap water. <laughs> Hold on, I'm going to crinkle some plastic into this mic as loud as humanly possible like the 70-year-old toddler demanding daddy's attention that I am. Now, if you'll excuse me, I have a meeting with my obviously pro bono attorney to see if I can find a way to get paid for wiping my ass. Oh. Will they ever give me pop pop? Well, of course not. They don't want to have that talk because it's a sore spot. Doug, that's blueberry pop pop. Oh. Blueberry pop pop with a mouthful. Telling you. This kind of went rogue. He didn't, never used to go off on me. Now his last three have been on me. Mm. Might also be libel. We're looking into Yo, that. You think there might be oh, some uh, 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 statements? Iggy, you I might didn't be, like uh, that, Iggy. There, there might be a settlement coming with Blueberry uh, Pop. I'm jealous that I get all this stuff for free. And... There you go. Blueberry <laughs> Pop Pop is jealous. Uh, and finally, hi, the morning after team. I hope you're doing great. I emailed you a few days ago regarding my interest in writing an article for your site and would love the opportunity of working with you. I just want to make sure you didn't miss my email. Smiley emoji. Looking forward to hearing from you. Thank you. That's from James, freelance writer. Nice little email, James. James, freelance writer. Maybe just spam, actually. <laughs> okay. Whatever's in the filtered file, mm -hmm. I'll read it. I love this guy. <laughs> James, and yeah. that's what we have for the Design Air heating and cooling mm -hmm. email of the day. Doug, so many to choose well, from. Blueberry, Wonderful. Blueberry Pop-Pop brought it pretty strong, but he was anti-Iggy, and Iggy's got his lawyer here, so I'm afraid to vote for him. <laughs> I'm going to go for James, the, fr the freelance writer. This is the only show where a robot could win email today. <laughs> you see that, Iggy? That's respect. <laughs> uh, yeah, I'm going with Dotum. Oh, he got suspended. Uh, well, I'm going with Doug Chandler Hill. Is that who you're talking That's about? Who, yeah. Doug Chandler Hill has won the Zion Air Heating and Cooling email of the day. Unbelievable I don't, I don't what like just it. happened right yeah, there. I don't care for Unbelievable. it. Unbelievable. It was a real barn burner. It was. It was a nice contest. <laughs> uh, all right, so here we go. Jackson and I got to go down the hallway and do a balloon party. Um, what do you want to do, Iggy, uh, with uh, Brianna? When she comes out of there, I ask her, I said, can you stick around until 11? Tim would like to have you on QFTA, no, and if not, then we'll do this for a few minutes if you have time, but I'd rather she do it with you. Okay. And no response as of yet, because she's still on with... Uh... Oh, yeah, she'll be on there till 10. Okay. All right, I want to see her, I'll say, we'll can you stick around until I don't know what she has to do with right. kids' school or what, but we'll find out. Did you okay. tell her you'd cover her mic? Which one cover if she wants. <laughs> there's plenty of them here. She can raw dog it if she wants. Oh. And there's three more packs in there. There's three more, Andy. I'll pass them around to the other station. Andy, safe. thanks for sticking around for a couple hours. Thanks for having me. Well, Sorry thanks. we weren't able to deliver Brianna, but she's here. She's in the building, just in a different yeah. studio. Yeah. He's going to be mad. Close He's going to want his time next week Close to make enough. up for today. You got two hours. Yeah, I know, Ed. I mean, Ed oh. can't beat this. He's got a spreadsheet. Yeah, he's got a spreadsheet. <laughs> I mean, he does. Uh, time for us to shut it down. Uh, Jackson and I are heading down the hallway for Bloom Party. I want to win ESP. For the Plowhawk, for Action Jackson, for Kenneth Iggy Strode, for Andy Crouppen in today. For my brother Kevin and for Douglas Sullivan Vaughn, I'm Tim McKernan. This has been TMA 